What up, everybody? Welcome to the Smoking Tire Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Wompley. Listen, are you a gig worker? Maybe you're self-employed? I know about both of those things because I am both of those things. Small businesses and self-employed people have had to be super, super flexible and creative this past year. But Wompley is here, and they have helped over 100,000 small businesses get a PPP stimulus loan. Now, up to 41.1 million self-employed workers may qualify for up to $41,000 in a hundred Hundred percent forgivable PPP loans. Now funds are limited, so apply for free today at Wompley.com slash smoking tire. That's Wompley W O M P L Y Wompley.com slash smoking tire and see if you qualify for a PPP loan. That's Wompley.com slash smoking tire. We are also brought to you by Dylan Optic Sunglasses, the official eyewear of the Smoking Tire Podcast. You know those glasses you see? I'm wearing them in every single video. Sometimes if I do hard launches, they fly off my head into the back seat or bulkhead of the car. Those are Dylan Optics. They're the official eyewear of the Smoke and Tire podcast, and I have been wearing them for 11 years and only them. And it's not just that they have provided me with eyewear that's kept me from wearing them. These are some of the best glasses on the market. The NIR lens technology means that looking through a pair of Dylan optics is like HD life. They're durable. I beat the crap out of these things. They come in like a dozen different frame styles. You've got plastic, you've got aviator, metal. They even come in prescription. So go to our website, thesmokingtire.com, and click on the Dylan Optics banner on the homepage, and we will send you, if you buy a pair, or for every pair you buy, I should say, we'll send you a free Smoking Tire t-shirt as a thank you to supporting the people who support us. Dylan Optics and the best sunglasses ever. Go to thesmokingtire.com and click on the Partners tab to get it. And we are also finally, but certainly not leastly, brought to you by Tradecraft Farms, the official ganja of the Smoke and Tire podcast. Whether it's smokables, edibles, aerosolables, vapables, think Tradecraft first. These guys, they grow the ultimate fire. I have seen the stash. I have been to the facility. It's incredible. The ganja is extremely fire, and I can't believe this is a commercial that I get to do. It's amazing. Give them a follow, Tradecraft underscore farm on Instagram. Visit one of their locations if you're in California, one of their retail locations, or if you are somewhere else where it is legal, ask for Tradecraft Farms at your local dispensary. All right, on this episode of the Smoke and Tire podcast, Sirio and Cam Ingram are here. Steve Sirio is a, uh, he knows where the bodies are buried, they say. Car broker extraordinaire. If it's seven figures and buried in a garage in Eastern Europe somewhere, he will find it. And Cam Ingram of Road Scholars, uh, Porsche sales service restoration and racing specialist. These two together are a dynamic duo of excellent radio. Sirio and Ingram on the Smoke Tire Podcast. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. <laughs> uh, this is the show, by the way. We're here. Oh, good. No, this is it. We're live yeah. already. We are, we are actually. You don't know it news. because Jay is slick. He's slick. Oh. Zach. Slick. Rick. Zach went up to uh, went up north. Fucking Zach. Uh, did he bug out? Did he bug out? Pesach. Lachaim. No, oh yeah. Bug, <laughs> didn't bug, bug out. out. <laughs> no. But no, because his bug out vehicle is here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's you saw his bug out vehicle. Where's the matzo ball soup? That's all I've been thinking about. We ate it all. Carl's matzo ball soup. Did you write down my recipe? Yeah, I wrote. Well, I can email it to you. you. I, I took a picture doing of the whole thing. And the, <sighs> yeah. if you Even want to use Jews are impressed. <laughs> if you want to use every appliance and dish in your kitchen <laughs> in three hours, <laughs> yeah, that great. is a recipe that's been written clearly by someone who's had fucking a dishwashing staff <laughs> for twenty years. <laughs> it's easier to buy it. It really is easy. Get you yeah, the canters. But- Someplace like that? Yeah, no, you, yeah, of course, of course, you can buy matzo ball soup. You can buy in this town. You can buy great matzo ball soup. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to. But there's a pride. We, yeah. we, the tradition of Chef Carl has to live on in the matzo ball soup. That's yeah. fair enough. Uh, nice to see you guys. Welcome. Nice to see you as well. Thanks for having it's us back. A, uh, a third time for me and second time for Cam here. And uh, yeah, well, this is good. I get to put you on the stand now. Oh yeah. I got so many questions for you after listening to some of your recent shows from the guests you've mm. had on here. I'm just like, yeah, sitting there going, awesome. well, you, you know. Well, the fun. most recent discovery 
is that the entire service bill from February of 2020 is mm. fraudulent, was not performed. On the 328? On the yeah, on my car. Come on. That, the entire bill from February, which is from some independent shop in Georgia, I don't know the name offhand, but and I'm not going to blow them up just because of this, because it's a you know slander. So maybe. how did you fit? Because none of the but, parts were changed, none of it was. Legit. Yeah, just just the, the belts weren't done, the fuel filter, the shit that it said was done this was very the, clearly the, not done. This is the, the car I found. Yeah, well, the, the path found. I'm not well. mad. I just yeah. thought it's funny because I can give you shit about something, but <laughs> I, I'm glad that the people I've found. Marco for the Porsches and Donnie yeah. for the first. Like, at least they're honest. Right. You know, and they send lots of pictures. Marco's I mean, Donnie's great, Marco's the best. He's a great dude. Donnie sends me before afters of, mm -hmm. like, everything. Mm -hmm. Here's the part I took out. Here's the part that's going It's not in. hard it's, now. You don't need to develop the yeah. film. No. <laughs> I mean, it's no. Just like, well, and he's got nobody to talk to out it. there yeah. in the yeah. desert. So <laughs> 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 he needs it. He needs the, but yeah. anyway, what are you guys in town for? What are we in town for? Well, 72 hours of, uh, <laughs> like, hunting. Ah. And, you know, we've, we've seen one collection of cars that... Get your mic a little closer. Uh, one collection of cars that is uh, woefully overpriced. Don't be such a boomer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> woefully and, overpriced. And, yeah. is, that, is that what the market looks like right now? People think they know what they have and they're asking top dollar for it? Because oh. they know everyone's shopping. Yes. Well, no, there's a question of top dollar and three X top dollar. Oh, three yeah. X. So, I mean, it's it's one of those where people did, are fishing. Where did you come up with this idea that this is worth this? Tomorrow's like, prices today is that where they're coming uh, up with uh, it? Twenty thirty five prices today. <laughs> if if the world still loves so classic look, they're going to ban gasoline cars, <laughs> and this is the very <laughs> this is the time to do it. Get it this while you is can. The fifth last this is a Ferrari powered by gasoline. This nineteen eighty nine Porsche <laughs> yeah. anniversary car is more special because we've wrapped the steering wheel in plastic so nobody will touch it. It's like that's why it's how much more than the other five on the market. That's so. Funny. Yeah, no, and and we're hunting the rare rare oddball birds that are things that you chase. And, and 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 Cam will pack me up on this. It's not that I don't want to tell you. It's a one car I've sworn to secrecy on. The other one is if the word gets out, somebody will beat us to it. Totally. So you can't blow up your own spot on the radio. You no. Know, yeah. So yeah, that, by that the way, be... this is where we're going in two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kill the live feed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow us out of the building. So yeah. So that's the, the we're chasing the the big the the big howitzers right now because uh -huh. of Cam's. You've seen the thing in the RS Invitational that's been blowing up of the uh, Yeah, the why do I event? keep seeing it after it happens, Cam? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you bring some of your sponsors to the next event, we'll have to... Uh, Tradecraft Farms. <laughs> yeah. We will come east. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Let's put you on the racetrack after you smoke. We'll rip one, bro. I mean, listen. <laughs> we, car, remember Car and Driver did that yeah, test in uh, 1982? Yeah, that was so cool. Do you remember what happened? Mm -hmm. They didn't get that they much slower. That, that A lot machine. more anxiety, not much slower. <laughs> 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 I keep asking my magazine editors when I can re redo that test. That would be amazing. What yeah. would you do it in? What would be the data point cars oh it you know you wouldn't want something too fast you wouldn't yeah. want something fast enough to scare yourself Do you want something like pedestrian like nah, you'd want you know you'd want something uh, manageable you'd want like uh you know like a like a three like a three series or something you know something pretty pretty standard like a Mac mclaren elva i would think that'd be really <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. goggles the whole deal if you need you the sensory explosion that was my favorite thing that I've ever watched you do. I, I was like, literally laugh. I was laughing with you, and I was like, this is crazy. It is yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's a bad car. Yeah, I was like laughing. I was like, this is amazing. And your analogy, the, yeah. your analogy of the porn magazines and yes. what that, I was like, this is so <laughs> spot on. This is, <laughs> from Playboy to Hustler, I was yeah. like, this is amazing. And you're like, like, where is he going to end this yeah. one? I know. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I did that one on the fly. I didn't actually plan to do that. I was. Yeah. That's why I was I literally at each step yeah. was trying to figure out what it was so good. Was I was like, like is he gonna is his career that. suicide? The next statement that comes out of his mouth. Oh yeah. Well I'm the king of can't get fired production, <laughs> so it's okay. So nobody's gonna cancel you. You're gonna be woke. We I'd already got another yet. McLaren on the books, yo. <laughs> it's good. It's good. They thought that gag was funny. Yeah, did they? The right wheel. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They thought it was funny. The right wheel off gag? I thought that was yeah. funny. Well that so yeah, that you see I, I, I love that little wheel in the dirt. Um you know that that AAMS thing? The the thing that blocks the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you have to activate it every single time. And, really? And deact. Yeah. It doesn't just, it's not just on when you start the car. 
Which, so you have to be on so that you can turn it on. And it's really mm -hmm. hard to see the fucking button, actually. Mm -hmm. And so if you're in the middle of mm -hmm. a windy road and you go, oh shit, I forgot to turn this on, I can't breathe. <laughs> Let me hit that button, and you look down for the button for so like good. that long. Whoops. That's long enough to, yeah. to have a little possible whoops moment. Right. Yeah, right. it reminded me of Knight Rider when he has to turn the wheel and hit turbo boost at the same time. You know that little thing? That's you what know it looked like funny? you were doing when someone cuts the top off their fucking steering wheel and they think that's a good idea. Right? Same, steering same wheel issue. yokes. <laughs> mm. New Tesla, right? <laughs> that's bad. Dude. That's bad. I wrote, I wrote in a speed tail last night, and a, a friend has one. And uh, how was that? I, what I, else did you amazing. pull up to well, dinner? Well, it was in. so cool because like you're sitting right next to your buddy, right, and you're like in his ear. And I just wanted to like give him. I was like, "You're amazing, bro. This is awesome." Like <laughs> they were dating at dinner. Dating. They, were, they came in holding hands at Chicago's. <laughs> they it was really gross. Just, uh, <laughs> they must have just done a bunch of deliveries because I've seen three in Los Angeles. They went from seeing none yeah. to seeing three in a week. It's Same killer. Here. It's so cool. Which one did you go out in? Gray, blue, blue. blue. Yes. Was you with Manny? Yeah. Was like, oh, blue. No, we're not with Manny. Oh, it was another blue. There's another blue. Yeah. Another so, not so the Manny co-spin blue. A, it's no. tr transparent carbon blue. <sighs> Yeah, it's like gorgeous. I saw that we saw a transparent carbon gray at Paradise Cove. Oh, how was that? Was that hot? Fucking cool. Yeah. That's really cool. cool. Yeah. It 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 looks way better in person than in yeah. photographs, I think, right? Yeah. What do looks you guys smaller. like the wheels? No. I don't like I don't like the cover on the front. No, I, it doesn't I, do it for it, you. It's not finished. It looks like Sir. Okay, we're going to Yeah, okay. What do you, I don't like it. I can pick apart a couple million dollar car with the best yeah. of them. So I <laughs> Yeah, no, it's something about it. It just, it just looks like an add-on. Like, oh, you check the box for the, the – is this going into snow? Why do you have these covers it's here? It's got to have yeah. some function. It's an aerodynamic oh, yeah, function, sure. yeah, right? Yeah, 170 like an miles thing. an hour, <laughs> which, which we've been talking about that. With, and you talked about it with Jensen Button. All these things are great, except what do you do with Where them? Where do you drive yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, yeah. I'd rather drive something slow and old quickly as opposed to you can't take this to its limit. I can appreciate it. And he pulled up last night to, you know, to, to join us for cocktails. And it was like, well, that's a you talk about a big flex. And yeah, yeah. you know, that's a huge flex. It looks great at Mastro's. I mean, it's yeah. great at Mastro's. Yeah, oh my God. Well, I was it's not as good as a Countach, though. You pull up a Countach at Mastro's, they'll it, fucking move that speed tail. <laughs> they'll move, they're like, get that out of here. I know Put it next to the other one that's yes. here. Yes. Exactly. Put it next to the Senna's yeah, uh, exactly. or Jesco around the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what an Orange County Cars and Coffee is like, though. You, know, you go, oh, yeah, I see, I see that stuff, and it's, it's just maddening it's how, like how many of those cars are not special enough <laughs> where everybody goes, oh, it's just another row of supercars. Yeah. Okay. But mine's paint the sample, carbon to sample, <laughs> stitch to painted. sample. Yeah, yeah, st yeah. Have uh, you guys been watching the Bugatti, down. the secondhand Bugatti market? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them for sale. Uh, yes. <sighs> well, that again, <laughs> listening to everybody, you know, when the the pure sport get passed around to everybody out here, and it goes back to what we were giggling about. It's a lovely thing. What the fuck do you do with it? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's other than yeah. saying to your friends, I have this and you don't. Yeah. Um, okay, it's it's the it's the greatest Bugatti ever made. We why was the last seven of them shit boxes that they're so <laughs> terrible? And I loved when you were talking. I think you were talking about. Um, it, I might be quoting Lieberman. The difference between Koenigsegg, the Paganis, and the Finnish in uh, all of those cars versus the Bugatti, with the Bugatti being the top of the food chain, Finnish and fit. Yeah. And, and all of them are finished and fit. Are you going to tell me that first gen uh, Chiron or Veyron is not enough car <laughs> no <laughs> i understand so, the pure sport was pretty crazy i, I you know w what makes something 4 million versus 400,000 and can you use the difference no i don't think so no do you have enough track suits to own the car? That's Bro. really uh, no, De no. Also, no. No. Habibi, need... Habibi, I'll go. I'm gonna go PTS Adidas. Oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> that Manny dude, he's got the matching track suits. Does he? You know that guy? You know that guy? Mm -hmm. Manny no. Cospin. He's down in Orange County. Really? He's like a real estate guy, and he's got you know the boilerplate crazy shit, oh. all paint to sample. But he's like obsessed with Hermes. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of a <laughs> Official partnership it is, but he yeah. has Hermes do all his like interiors. So he has his Bugatti is like the Hermes edition. His Speedtail has the Hermes logos what? in the carbon. 
Yeah. Really? You never seen this guy? <laughs> no. no. Oh, he not... fucking wears booties and gloves when he drives his shit. It's hysterical. <laughs> oh God, he know, puts like... the little booties on his shoes. Yeah, it doesn't when need he drives another car. car. He needs a couch and a That's, full-time team of psychiatrists. I met him. He was a very nice man. I'm but sure. It was, but it was like, it was just crazy. It was wild. I want to party with that guy. It sounds like a good time. <laughs> well, it's like the Michael Fuchs collection of cars when you see them parked in front of Spanish Bay at Pebble Beach. Oh, I love it. It's that. like, <laughs> brrr, brrr. <laughs> look at the, the yellow rolls with the yellow interior and the, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They're so garish, they're good. Like, they're so ugly. And They'll tacky. come around. I mean, yeah, I think uh, at the auctions in 30 or 40 years, oh, it's going to be Michael like, Fuchs from car. the collection. <laughs> 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 Who had the ball bag big enough to order these yeah, that from dude. the get-go? Yeah. Because yeah. you know Bichon, it rolls. The Bichon going. guy. Oh, yeah, the Bichon guy with the DBS. The I, Bichon guy, the, the yellow, yellow DBS. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm like, God, I, I came upon that at a friend's house, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking... I, he's got the name on it and the whole... Oh, well, they park it in front of his boutique, the boutique right. in Rodeo, and it's like a billboard or something. Yeah. I think that, that might make it a tax deduction. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's, it's a marketing tool. It might. It might. Oh, it's a billboard, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I'll take the three hundred. Have you seen, speaking of DBSs, have you seen the hot pink one in L.A.? No. Factory paint. Really? Matte hot pink. Mm -mm. DBS um, shooting break. The whole deal. Zagato. Oh, like my shooting break. Yeah, yeah. But so fucking it, factory hot pink. Wow. I ain't making it up. See? Now I have to sell my car. <laughs> that's a statement. <laughs> that thing came through Galpin. In that, fact, that's Galpin's lot where that uh, where that was. Oh, shot. Mr. Bachman was was ordering stuff up at the factory, yeah. and they kind of went. It's pretty. You know what? There it's, was a. Pink. It's not heinous, actually. Mm. I hate to say that pink kind of works on this one, there but it kind of does. A German Captain delivery V six hundred years ago that they called the Pink Panther because it was a, a for V six hundred yeah, in pink. In pink. That's awesome. So a woman ordered it, and it was all. I I had never seen a pink. Zagato. I mean that. That's he got. He, he just bought a new peacock car. What, just new, <laughs> what new peacock yeah, car? Right, Shut up. You're such a peacock. <laughs> you. Oh, what are you talking about here? Yeah. I I had to. Uh, I had, you had a, to scratch an itch. Yeah, I had a, a huge itch, and it's been going on for some time. I got uh, Continental Bentley, but I had to have the number nine edition car. Number nine. Like a new one? Yeah. With last does it, year. Have, does it have a fucking cue ball in the door? It's no. got a big, big it's nine in the grill. Big it's so cheesy. Grind on, a good nine on the grill. <laughs> like a Bentley it's blower. As, like, it is I'm as like, subtle sir. as an anvil to the head. It, I mean, does it look like a warplane? No, yeah. it's not that. <laughs> uh, you get the, I'm sure Jacob can pull it up. The Bentley but, number nine continent. It's just it's like up. sprayed on the grill, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sprayed, that's not so bad. That's okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll see it. It's no. Yeah. It's no pink zagato. He's on the phone yesterday, and we're like going to look at some stuff, and he's like grinding this guy down. I'm like laughing. I'm like cereal. He's like, where do we need to be? Let's not split hairs here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why don't you use some more used car lines to get this deal? Holy <laughs> shit! Look at the nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's funny. Thing. Yeah. The, so well, the gonna, rest of it is actually this is a very nice. Yeah. Is it that color? Yeah, yeah. that so green, it's Viridian green with a dark green interior. And they this came, is a midlife oh, crisis. Well, other than the grill, it's crisis. fabulous. Paint the grill. Yeah. So Look, there that is, grill is fucking horrid, Syria. <laughs> it, it is, the isn't, car, it, isn't it? Yeah. The rest of the car is great. <laughs> it's a peacock. The rest. <laughs> Of all the features on that old blower Bentley to take over and put on this one, the number nine is literally the worst you could possible. Have correct. You, correct. Correct. The Union Jack would have been fine on the door. Yeah, exactly. Bigger Union Jack. You know what would have been kick-ass? Like factory fog lights. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? Like cool. a factory oh, bar, a old, bar with fog lights. Yeah. They'll oh, never do, do it because pedestrian standards. But yeah. that grill is atrocious. Send it down, send it down to... Send that down the shop. I'll put a good bar it's on it. It's fog. a complete. Everybody loves it. But so, what a nice car, though, huh? Well, it's I have one of those things where it'll be a part-time daily because I'm I've putting so part-time daily. That so, that makes logical sense. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got to split the time between that and my 911 GTS. Yeah, which well, I've got go. now 16,000 miles on in a year and change. So good for you. Yeah. So I'm driving it, but that's going to be no, the, the these the, Bentleys are the shit. You sound like They're the hot. people we talk to every day. Let me talk to you about my ideas about part-time daily. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this is mental masturbation. <laughs> yeah, is that an is. eight or a twelve, Serio? Twelve. Nice. It's a W twelve. Yeah. And they made a hundred of them for the world. Twenty three of them came to the states. Again, drive you back know, to nobody work. Nobody will give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares about that special edition, Serio. <laughs> is that a number nine edition? I, I, been, the, the been, color is fabulous. As I've yeah. been quoted, uh, I'll, I'll quote myself back to me. If it's made to be collectible, it won't be. hundred percent. So that. Just happened to be. Could I love green yourself? with a green interior. Okay. That's so, a good one. I might fucking 
paint that on the wall in here. Yeah, if it's me. In the next, in my office, I have you uh, don't trust your own taste. Chances are you have none. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's good. I could put your, I could put this right underneath that. I would it's always made to be collectible. Chances no, are it won't. There's be. a lot yeah. of stereo idioms. Yeah, I don't know if you want to adopt in your life. Like there's, oof, what, so what, time kills all deals. Time you kills all heard. deals. Yeah, you because know. uh, people just get they just forget. If you they, don't, get, if yeah. you don't push, 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 the longer something takes to finish, it never gets done. Mm. It never gets done. That's true. The number of folks I have in my stupid little parking business here that, that are like, I'm ready to sign. Send me the paperwork, and then you never hear from them right. again. It's like, well. What, what why did you even say that? What <laughs> happened? I'm ready to go. <laughs> like, you, you didn't have to be like, I'm ready to sign. You could say, let me think about it. I won't yeah. be insulted. Yeah. Right. Let me doing? posture some more. Can you save me three spaces? <laughs> <laughs> the other one is, um, well, I'm going to do a two-car deal. You, that, that never happens. That's the deal killer. Yeah. I'm going to buy multiple cars. Uh-huh. You know, that that's... That's worse than saying, well, you take care of me this time, I'll get you next time. Yeah. No, you take care of me this time, and I take care of you next time. Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. Vendor. Or I'm going to so, buy a lot of cars. This is just the start of a long relationship. Can, can you do, That's can, like asking the bartender to like pour your drinks heavy before even leaving the first tip. Yes. But, <laughs> no, you yeah. leave a $50 yeah. tip on the first drinks, and then they just automatically they, do yeah. that. And they're friendly. I got you. <laughs> well, we, I mean, the, the extreme It's version. a very simple system. It's a give give. It's a give give. It's a give give. We, uh, Not give take. <laughs> well, without giving anything away, yesterday we were, uh, and I can't, again, I won't give away what the cars were, but a, a guy wants to sell two Ferraris. Uh -huh. So it's like, wait a minute, you can't pair up anything because we, I want to sell them as a pair. And how much are they? They're $50 million. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how are you breaking them? No, wait a minute. You, you'd rather sell them as a pair. Who? It. Okay, one's 30, one's 20, one's 28, one's 22. Are the cars in any way, other than being Ferraris, related to each other? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're they are. They're yeah. related to each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're, they're, okay. It would, make, it would make sense that maybe some other person in the world uh -huh. would have two things like this. Uh -huh. Okay. But to try to say it's, it's easier to sell both of them. Why are you going to turn down the thirty-two if I offer you the thirty-two <laughs> for the one, and yeah, maybe yeah. you wouldn't consider eighteen for the other one? I mean, so people are nuts, but that's our world. In, 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 in what situation might that make sense? Serialized VIN numbers. Like, uh, well, at what point does doing the where? Do, when is a pair more valuable mm. than the individual? Sometimes with their bookends, if they complement yeah. each other, uh -huh. and the, the first and last, the first of. and the last of, so, or. One is a, has a race history, and one is the perfect production car. It just right. depends on the semantics of the what the pair is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would get that. I mean, a, a pair of something at a lesser, at a much lesser number, you could almost make the argument for if it was a deal. If it was, yeah. you get both, and yeah. I'm gonna knock I want X a, off the. I the, want yeah. retail. I want 2014 pricing for these two things. Mm. And by the way. You're not in the one percent. You're in the the one percent of the one percent. To ask ten people in the world that might be able to want these cars. Yeah, right. yeah. You and, know, and then you were like, "Well, I would like that one." Well, you know, I want to sell them as a pair. <laughs> like in the Porsche world right now, there's like speeds, like instant speedster collection from pre a all the way to the newest one or the rs Instant collection speeds uh, that are available for sale yeah to buy a complete speed you can buy a complete right rs collection starting with 2.7 rs yeah. all the way up to the gt2 rs you know it's like so you have every idiom of is either. that an individual trying to sell something like that or a dealer is trying to put you oh you no 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 no, no. There's, you there's, just an there's an individual job there fishing <laughs> oh, yeah fishing. That's, it, that's me yeah yeah <laughs> uh, eag the bmw folks uh, yes. out of ohio yeah. they yeah. tried to sell a complete m collection yeah. which is one of every m car yep i don't know how it worked out for them did it i don't know if they, i i don't know if they Eric, got it i don't know if they got it either i know max it was, like, it, was like, it was like a couple million dollars er, for like eric's, the whole eric's ambitious run. like that yeah. though like he's well he gets it a lot he gets it he, he gets, gets quality stuff he, he finds some guy. great stuff he finds um, great stuff. he was a great guest on our podcast too he was very very interesting. he's a good dude yeah if uh, you've got the goods you can ask the price yes. but he was going for that that <laughs> buy a collection, wrap yeah. it up. Uh, Max Gerardo did that with cars. the Martini launches. He yeah. had that whole, I don't know, six or seven of them, whatever it was, and he sold them. He sold them as a collection. And if you, if that's your gig, and you want, who sold that? Max Gerardo. He used to be the auctioneer for RM years oh. ago, and he's gone on his oh. own. He's in the UK. Did he sell them to Campion? I don't know who he sold them to. Huh. Campion was the guy in Florida. He passed away last year. Uh, like leukemia or something, and now the cars are a little scattered. But he had a full Lancia 
works martini collection. Okay, like ten cards. Oh it yeah, could, that's it, right. That yeah. could have been those. That yeah. collection. It was Integrales yeah. and O three seven and yeah. a, a yeah. Delta S four and a Stratos. It was everything. I was would, a, if I was a billionaire, I would have owned that collection. That fuck was like, yeah, I was yeah. bad. I went in the garage. I was like, oh my god. I was like, this is it. This is dream. The O three seven was like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just boner material. My wife has some very embarrassing footage of me falling out of one of those in an auction in Europe years ago. I got in the car. I couldn't get out of it because of my wonky knees, which I just had fixed. And I, once I got in, it was fixed. like, Replaced. great, now how do I get out? Yeah. <laughs> and there's my wife dutifully with her cell phone. And he, he's got one as well of me flopping out of a 906 Porsche. And that's a Colorado <laughs> trip we did. And it was like, I can't I can't get out. I can't. I can't. You are I can't too get fucking out. big for a 906. Oh my God, it's great. <laughs> he's a, that was a passenger. Five pounds of bologna in a two pound yeah. bag. It was so good. I'm like, bro. He, our customer, he's like, oh, I'm the customer. I'm like, they're going to to die <laughs> oh my god thank so, god thank god the guy driving it was just five foot seven or whatever he is in 140 next miles. year will you come to rs invitational event i would really like to yeah, yeah. you know what's crazy is we had 36 cars show up and a combined you know close to about 200 million dollars and here's Mr. Collier. For people who have never heard of it, describe what the RS Invitational is because it's fucking crazy. Yeah. It, well, it was a concept. We it, it started off as an anniversary of Road Scholars, our company, the 20 year anniversary. And I came up, we went to Petit Le Mans last year. It's one of my favorite races at Road Atlanta and just a bitchin' race. And uh, I love the track. I've always went, I've ridden a motorcycle on it, but never driven a car. So I just said, let's, you know, let's be safe. Let's be COVID conscious, but let's think about. Steve and I are working together and Peter Brotman working together to really cultivate a group of collectors that are using their things because who wants to wait for, it's different from Rensport because these are actual collectors. We had first time guys have never been on the track and they're driving their rare A bars. As opposed to like hiring a driver Correct. or it's a Porsche works car or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. these are all guys that own 906, 910s, 904s. We had the whole bevy. We had an example of every Porsche fiberglass race car ever built by Porsche. So from starting 904 all the way up to 917, yeah. we oh. had examples of everything. And so that's every fiberglass car built by Porsche? Yeah, so 904, 906, 910, 907, 908, and 917. And we had an example. It of, was of all of them, huh? Yeah. And it was. And it was. What about this, nine? What about nine six two? That's not fiber. That's carbon Kevlar. That's carbon correct. fiber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You stop at nine seventeen. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you know, here's Miles Collier, and like, it's the biggest flex on the world, really, because you we work with. Okay, look on the Road Scholars Instagram is where you find uh, all perfect. the good shit. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, he's really setting this precedent. He and uh, Dr. Simeon, and have been talking for years, and I'm just a disciple of what you know what they've been talk, preaching about for a long time, which is use these cars. They are meant to be used in motion. And seeing, we had Hurley Haywood, Jeff Swart, Patrick Long there to help these guys get around the track, but we're, they're driving 917s, 908 long necks, and our customers yeah. are driving all their, we had six 906s, Bobby Rahal's there driving his 906. It was just That's an epic cool. event. And, uh, you know, it's really Who satisfying. Who did you have that raced the car in period there to drive again? So this is a cool story. So we just finished uh, a mechanical restoration on the uh, 73 RSR that won Sebring overall. Is that, it, is that the, uh, where is it? It's that not, one it's, with it's the, there. that one right there is the action the, uh, above it. Yep. That that's, one there. That's a pretty bitchin' video. <clears> so. We but, can't actually show that because it's not on YouTube. Yay. Yeah. Cool. But you can just see these things in motion, and it's unbelievable. But so but Hurley Haywood drives the car that he won Sebring in, overall 12 hours of Sebring in 73, and he gets back in it. And, and he, he stepped on it. And he got yeah, on it. He stepped on it. And I said, it. we really he need to do some. He wasn't doing a parade lap. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, and I told him, I was like, we're doing uh, some data testing, beta testing for the customer, and we've worked on this thing, and we really need to make sure it's sorted. And he was like, I got you. And I was yeah. like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's Hurley Haywood, you know, like. but Because uh, I, bet, I bet his warm-up pace Oh. To someone else is still. <laughs> oh, he's probably like, oh no, that was easy, Cam. He's, he'd be on. You fast. said go. You you wanted me to go hard. I'll go hard. But that yeah. was you know, yeah. We had a still. client uh, who has not had a lot of track time and he enjoys us to no end. And he was jumping between a couple of his cars and he was out on on the track in a 959 S. And he said, so here I am and I'm going faster and I'm going faster and I'm going faster and I'm thinking to myself. I'm going so fast, I'm going to have to, and he looks, he goes, and in my rearview mirror, I see Hurley Haywood <laughs> coming up behind me in a 1973 technology yeah, RSR. No pressure. And right. he goes, so I, I roll the window, I open the window, and he goes, 
and I was so nervous because he's coming up my ass. He goes, I give him the wave, and the wind is so f- strong. I whack my hand on the back of the window <laughs> frame, waving him past me. And he goes, so that's when I thought, yeah, it's time for me to come in. Yeah. When, when you get, when you I see a, that. I gave a point by at 148 miles an hour. <laughs> That's exactly right. But, uh, you know. Cam- Did you tell him, like, that's what your blinkers are for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't have to use your hand. Nobody paid attention in the driver's meeting. Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, like yeah. the Colorado trip. When we did the Colorado trip, we drove all those 904s from Aspen. 906. In 906, I'm sorry. This is like day one, and we have two days at Road Atlanta. I almost ha- I had that same thought of, like, oh, God, this is a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it went great. And- What's uh, is a, is a, is a 904 or 906? I mean, because those cars are not. They're very light, obviously, yeah. but they're not crazy power. You know, is it is that a tough car to drive on the track, or is that just a fun, light, easy? It's you a know? fun, light yeah. car. It, it's not necessarily easy to drive, but you know, there's a, the power to weight ratio is amazing. So it's a lot of fun to drive. And Road Atlanta has a lot of um, blind curves and compression turns, mm-hmm. so it's a bl- it's a big boy track. You know, come down eleven and twelve. Mm-hmm. That's you, you, if you get it wrong, you go right into the wall. So that's you know, well, Patrick Long was saying he's still tough. learning the track and he's been driving it forever. Pat years. Long so, is yeah. very good at being modest. Yes, yes. yeah, he is <laughs> for yeah, sure. He, is, you know, he sure is. And, and at dinner that night, uh, you know, he's sitting with a couple of us and he just said, "Yeah, I'm still, I'm still little nuances here and there. I'm still mm-hmm. refining on this track." And it was great to have those guys there. But to Cam's, uh, I think that the. the to put a point on it, you can't sell these cars to people with no use for them. So right. if you're going to sell all these cars and you're going to get people interested in these things, they have to have a purpose. Yeah. Because, you know, sit, having a 906 sit in your garage for three or four years is not a great idea. No, you, just, you, you, you pay know. the maintenance anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Get well, out was cool. We used to do that shit back in the day. We, me and my boy Larry, we had a car wash, and we were like, these people only drive their car from the house to the car wash. <laughs> That's boring. We were like, if we gave them these drives together, yeah. Yeah. all their cars would get dirty, and then we'd wash. We could wash them all. Same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Give them something to use the car for. So 100%. do you have other ones, or is it just this one? What's that, RS Invitational? Yeah, like throughout the year. No, I mean this was a six month undertaking. The, the we we prepped our shop, prepped twenty one, you know, historic race cars, which isn't easy to do. And uh, then we had fifteen other cars show up, and it, the do the, the the dinners, you know, there was also a social component yeah, to it. Yeah. So the amount of dinners and but there'll the be events, other events. Yeah, there'll be. But other, there won't be another event. These there. race cars, twenty one race cars this year. Right. And you have in twelve months or we six last months year. another one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to do the same level of prep again on all 21 of those race cars? For sure, because you got to make sure people are going to go out and they're going to be safe in the cars. And, you know, these are things that are somewhat archaic, but for their time period, they were Formula One technology, you know, state-of-the-art technology. So we want to make sure every aspect of the car is ready to go. And can something really deteriorate that quickly? Something can come loose. Something can come yeah, loose. Yeah, something, that's all you need. What I pride something. myself on these events is we never have breakdowns. So, you know, between the Revs Institute, our, our customer base, yeah. and uh, some other folks that came, we didn't have one mechanical failure. And well, call, that's, call I mean, your brought pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. Two days on track with Two a bunch of track. 50-year-old Porsches. Yeah. 60-year-old Porsches. And yeah. Miles Collier brought... The, the, guns. the big guns. The big guns. I mean, he, he the two nine seventeens, the two nine oh eights, and the, and the RSK with the eight cylinder motor. Yeah. He brought a team of people, and everything was just who's flawless. driving them? Him? So no, Kevin, I got the ride of a Gunner lifetime. Jeanette. Yeah, Gun, oh, Gunner Jeanette yeah. is he's a bomb. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he goes ride with me in the RS sixty one L. It's Bob Hobart's old race car. It has a flat eight in it. I'm sorry, was, uh, yeah, RS sixty one. I said RSK. Yeah. This thing was a beast. And, like, there's nobody in the world, in my opinion, that can drive these vintage race cars as fast as Gunnar Jeanette. He grew up in the industry. His dad owns a great shop, and he grew up driving these cars. What shop is his dad's shop? Kevin uh, Jeanette. Did Kevin, yeah. 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 Just called Gunner Kevin. Racing. Gunner Racing, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, they're great family, incredible people. But he put me in that car, and I was, like, terrified. I absolutely happy and terrified at the same time. I mean, he went around that track so fast. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I drove my father's 935 that day, and I thought that was like the peak of like this is amazing, peak of good living. And then I went in that car with him, and it was just unbelievable. The uh, is it what when you see a get out with a real pro in a very old car, right? What 
impresses you the most about what that pro is willing to do with that old car that regular mortals are not willing to do? I've got a lot of seat time at vintage race cars, but his ability to put that thing on the ragged edge of drift, you know, he was basically drifting in the corners and you're drifting in the car value wise, but just knowing where the fine line of where he can let that car, he was rotating the car. That's not easy to do. I mean, it's easy to do in vintage cars, but you can over rotate it really fast and off to the sand pits and into something not good. But Mm -hmm. he just kept that thing consistently eight, seven tenths. And it was just methodical lap after lap and it's just like you realize how courageous these guys were well, those in guys period. in period yeah. were out of their minds yeah. and yeah. they were so talented and, you know they would do five hour stints you know during those indents races it's not yeah, like fucking Lamar with two people <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly so it gives you this, it, it, like the the physical exertion that goes into driving those cars is insane yeah i yeah i've Driven enough of old cars to know that you get very, t- yeah. <laughs> you get very yeah. tired. Driving. Then I get in my Cayman oh, yeah. Club Sport and I'm going to race at Pikes Peak and I like have the air conditioning on and I'm like, you know, I have to put it in sport mode and I'm just right here. <laughs> the Club Sport, it's like, oh, do I want the left zone at 68 and the right zone? Exactly. I like going down the street, just like adjusting the tip. Just like, Bluetooth. Yeah. 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 I was like talking local. to people. Yeah. Ordering stuff from Amazon while he's driving his car on the track. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I need one of those. You're on the back straight. You're like, Alexa, uh, <laughs> I need paper towels. Like, <laughs> you're definitely getting like a car to get Uber Eats to the paddock. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. yeah. Steppenwolf. You know, yeah. Alexa Play Jamiroquai. <laughs> oh my God. You know, one of the most frustrating bits of onboard racing footage I've ever watched is Lee Keen on one lap of America uh-huh. driving like a thousand horsepower Nissan GTR with active aerodynamics and basically just putting on a driving clinic, yeah. you know, just smoking. He was first place. It's a time attack race. And he was first place by like four seconds a lap or some absurd, yeah, absurd number. number yeah. And anytime he would go out, everybody would just rush, you know, to the grandstands to watch him drive. He's a beast. And just amazing. And so I wanted to see his line. <laughs> <laughs> it's lying in the track later. So he had inboard, onboard video going in the car. And so I was like, let me see your video. <laughs> and he showed me. And you're just like. Bro, he is fucking changing the radio. He's putting on <laughs> tunes. He's messing with the fucking traction control stuff <laughs> while driving one handed and yeah. smoking fools. Smoking, and yeah. it's just like it's nothing. It just is nothing. What's the little car that they used to test on uh, Top Gear? They did everybody drive oh, the, the star a reasonably Gear? priced car. Right. A, it was, there was a Kia Seed, and before that was a Sedona. There was a Sedona, right? No, no, no. That's the van. Oh, oh. It was a Vauxhall something. So, yeah, it was kind yeah. of another thing. You watch, Br- watch yeah. Brian Johnson do that in that car oh, where he he's drives. singing the whole time <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. smiling and he's just playing. And he, he, I, think he, I think he does go to the top of yeah. the heap. Yeah, he was. And, but he was just, oh, yeah, just paying attention, singing one of those songs and da 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 you know. <laughs> That's back it's when fantastic. that program was great, yeah. though. That was yeah. Or Louis Prima. You go to the old uh, Dick Trickle cigarette break Cold video. Nickel. The Dick Trickle cigarette break video is just, that's oh one my of my God, favorite. That's the best ever. Best in-car best, video best ever car recorded. Best in-car video ever. Yeah. Yeah. You seen that clip? Yeah. yeah. That's Fucking one of the best great. ever. I it's that's like that, a that should be Monday that's motivation every day. Like, like Monday motivation right there. Well, watch Rendezvous once a week, you know, and yeah. get yourself going. I mean, yeah, how yeah, did yeah. they do this again? So Lee yeah. Keen's a beast. So he had a great career cup showing for the first race at Sebring. He just, oh yeah, did he, he did he podium? He did third on the first day and fourth the next day, and he just drove the wheels out of the car out of the box. He's so fast. I did mean, you get to drive the new car yet? No, the new cup car. I'm not. No, but you got a couple in right for your customers, didn't you get a couple? No, we have two uh, club sport uh, track uh, came in club sports. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe yeah. it wasn't your. It was someone else's Instagram. Yeah. I guess I saw. They look dope. I'm, yeah, that's gonna be very exciting. That's the next level I, we'd love to get to. As a company. I think it was Lee Keens, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah. it? It might have been just yeah. been Lee's. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm driving GT3 on April 12th. Are I'm you very excited for the new GT3? I'm yeah. excited. It looks I, awesome. We got one on order. I'm excited about. Yeah. It. What color did you get? That my father's looking at that new Grigio Silver, the mm-hmm. one that uh, Andreas Brunninger mm-hmm. ordered, and it looks it car it looks reminiscent in that silver of the GT1 in the front. It looks really sexy. I saw a GT1 yesterday I at Joey's see. shop. Did it was you? fucking oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. The 993 GT1. Yeah, yeah. it was. Mm, <laughs> it was very good. We saw one last week. We put a, a Sirius Soda 959 that we uh, we, should, we had, and uh, on the truck was a GT1 going to Europe. Both yeah. cars going to Europe, going to Germany. So what's what's happening at, at the top of the market right now? What's where are things going? And is because at the mi- the middle of the market, yeah. yeah, it's completely out of control. People right. are yeah. paying way too much money. Yep. 
all of a sudden fucking Mark IV Supras are like a hundred grand. It's crazy for fucking shitbox automatics. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, some my my manager downstairs. He goes, look at this. He's like, I'm bringing a trailer or something. He's like, automatic Supra, seventy thousand dollars. Oh, fuck out of here. Fifty six thousand dollar nineteen eighty five Benz wagon on <laughs> Bat last week. I mean, I, I love have watching one. Bat. Bat is the best entertainment 000. ever in the yeah. universe. Yeah. No, I think it's it's going to be the roaring twenties for a little while <clears> because <throat> people really took a mental and physical punch in the nuts last year. I mean, I think the byproduct of, and this really shows the divide, sadly, of the people with money and people without money. And we, you and I texted about this last week with all the homeless people down in your hood versus the homeless people that used to be downtown. But the top of the food chain, the other the other side of it, you flip it, you know, the, the world on its head, a lot of people have a lot of money and a lot of time, and they're spending it. Yeah. And and so the top of the market is the hardest thing about the top of the market is beating everybody else yep. to the car. Mm. And it's it's moving. And the paradigm has shifted where mm -hmm. the auction world has changed so dramatically with people not at physical auctions right. that it's coming down to our. I mean, selfishly great for the people in the trenches because if you can find the cars and beat the auction companies to the consignments, you can sell them really quickly. Right. Um, and I think that going forward and not to put a pall on the auction company world, it's a little bit like RM is trying to keep pace with bring a trailer. Bonhams is big enough in the art world where they, the car stuff I think is more of a rounding error in their, their, mm -hmm. their sort of annual reports. They're trying to do a thing. They got a thing coming yeah. to L.A., uh, yeah, supercars on it's sunset supercars, or something. Yeah. So yeah, they got that coming. Everybody's got to try to stay relevant. Yeah, and, oh, that word. And uh -huh. yeah, and you know, <laughs> it's exhausting. But well, you, you get used to shopping for shit online, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's hard to go back. Well, you know, bring I a think, trailer is it's it's there's a good and bad to it. I mean, there's there's this constant twenty four hour now because now that there are seven days a week. You can go twenty four hours and look at all the sixty seventy new offerings every single day, and a lot of it is not terribly exciting, but they're pulling some real jewels. Yeah. Um, and the numbers are strong. The They've had a couple really of Countach sales. Uh, oh, they have, yeah. Yeah, a couple of Countach sales in the last few months. They're breaking the $500,000 mark regularly now, and I think it's changing the dynamic, and people are spending their dough. They're I, just, they, they want to get out. And I think the psychological push to all this is the COVID conscious of Life's short. Life is short. People have recalibrated over the last year of like, what do I want to do? Like, now is the opportunity to- Let me enjoy this money. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and that's- People really who are selling nice stuff mm -hmm. right now, like, and and it's, yes, there's definitely, it shows the, the divide, but also the people in the middle who are making yeah. really high quality things, the craftsmen yep. who are building the really best stuff. Yeah. Anyone smart enough to start an overlanding business <laughs> you know, right. Right. two years ago? Right. But you know, the experience. These guys are slammed out. Yeah. My yeah. boy Joey Sealy, you know Joey, right? Yeah. Emotion Engineering. Yeah. That's where I saw the GT1. You know Joey? I know. He's a setup genius. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he was an ALMS tech, and he, he has his special, his special tricks he does to make every GT car like amazing. Yeah. Um, and he's doing he's doing Cayennes. You can grab go to my Instagram and see the picture. He's doing these overlanding Cayennes, yeah. and they're very subtle mm -hmm. Cayenne diesels, yep. very subtle mods, and they are expensive because everything on them is made by hand. Oh, like this? Yeah, Second you don't just he doesn't yeah. just bolt parts. He has to make every yeah, part his, his on is, it. Yeah, he's top notch. Yeah, so they're like eighty k plus a Cayenne, yeah. and he's got a waiting list. Well, that that's that's a better version of it's um, so cool. But I think Mercedes that's also Mercedes Benz Sprinter. Why, which would you rather right. have? I mean, well, I I'd, can't sleep in the Cayenne, but I would but, rather drive it. <laughs> <laughs> but you get your tent there. You know? Speaking of which, if anyone out there is listening and builds an overlanding van, yeah, I had a plan to test one at the end of April, and it fell through. And I need an overlanding van. If you've got an overlanding van or one of those off-road trailers that people sleep in, <laughs> hit me up. I would like to try it on my little program. Are you going to be about that van life and take this show? <laughs> we are, you know, we already are. You saw my wife's Delica, right? <laughs> oh, I love that thing. The JDM. Yeah. That's so hot. It's the fucking shit. That is the yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But you're not shit. talking about hauling an Airstream somewhere. I mean, you're talking about... No, they have, the, they have like a smaller uh, trailers that are off-road, that have off-road tires and off-road suspension on them, and you tow them behind an off-road rig on the trail. They're cool. Well, this goes back to... <laughs> 
if you're going to buy that stuff, you better have a place to use it and people's experiences. Oh, yeah. You shut down international travel and yeah. you shut down even interstate travel. People, they're, they're getting all cooped up. What are we going to do? Well, we'll get in our car. We'll drive. Right. Well, you need the car. Dude, everyone's got yeah. an RV now. Yeah. Everyone's got an RV. Wait till two years, dude. We're going to be buying our, <laughs> we're going to have spec RV racing. Spec, oh, RV, <laughs> like, don't, like donk oh, racing. That would be amazing. Spec, spec RV <laughs> is going to be the oh, shit, yeah. dude. You guys blowing $2 million on their RV. RVs just to make them fast. Yo, you get that new Prevost? Yo, <laughs> I hear that does zero to 40 in 12 seconds. Well, no, Nomadland, if Hit you've the seen it, on it. The new, that movie that's out now, if you see Nomadland, this could be the follow-up movie. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, we have the poor people already traveling from city to city to city. Now we have the really rich people traveling from and city RV, to city race, to city. Racing RVs. So, yeah, that's the new can, it's the new cannonball. <laughs> yeah. That and then yachts, man. Yeah. The yachts are moving. It's crazy. Yeah. Which is, is like... Mm. And oh private God. air travel is back. Yeah. I mean, try yeah. to, try to you know, get something scheduled. With people. I don't... It's not my world, but you listen to guys going, yeah, I couldn't get a plane. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> you, problem you to know, have. Thinking, yeah. Yeah, thinking about Joey Seeley, though, it's not just the overlanders. It's like the top shops. It doesn't matter what they make, like whether they're Honda specialists, Jag specialists, whatever specialists they are, and craftspeople, every shop... The customers are in. The customers are in. And yeah. every shop that's worth a shit is yeah, slammed yeah. and they're booked out totally and, and there's not enough new shops coming up through the ranks to, to fulfill the need now like is it. a good time to determine that you want to be a master craftsman at something 100 percent. yeah <laughs> yep. and and, and yep. pick the right guy i mean we were at john wilhoit's shop yesterday and I, I think of the world of john and he didn't need any work for the next five years no. <laughs> i mean he's it's the cam shop paul russell's shop you know the guys out here that are specialty top of the food chain guys uh -huh. they don't need any more no. work and the the biggest problem is a lot of these guys are aging out yeah so it is an opportunity for kids in trade schools and the, the best of the best in their classes you can come out and make some serious cake if you want to get dirty and, yeah and, and it's not about you know, the guys who own those Jesus. shops drives dope. They yeah. drive dope cars. Just but so it's yeah. like NBA. <laughs> but the funny thing is, like NBA NFL draft, because we're like all all the same shops are watching the top talent coming out of these trade schools, and uh -huh. we're, all, we're all like, "There, hey kid, I'll pay for you to move to relocate." I oh, mean, is that, does that happen? <laughs> oh yeah, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm it's not in that industry. How it interesting. Is a big it's problem it's finding a big help. help. It's really a, finding oh, good help. Sales side as well, or just the uh, Actually, just the upgrades and service side? It's more on the service side. It really is. Really? Can, After all the bozos we've talked to that work at some of the dealerships? Oh, well, <laughs> it's just to our advantage that the... the Price-wise, style-wise. Was... <laughs> <laughs> we literally had a conversation in the car the other day, and we were like seeing every... We just talked back and forth and used car lines. It was great. You know? that movie rules. <laughs> if you haven't seen used cars, go see used yeah. cars. Uh, we had a fucking... It looked like we had a ton of questions, Jay. Yep. Did, was there as many as hey, we, wait, I thought we had? Hey, wait, before we forget, how did you not know the Sultan of Brunei? I do listen what, to your podcast. personally? No, not personally. I know you had going to Brunei. You were talking about the car collection in Brunei. Yeah. And... The whole history behind that, if it wasn't for him, Aston, Bentley, Rolls, Pin and Farina, none of it would have survived the 90s. Well, that's so, not shocking to me. I yeah. just didn't know the details oh, of yeah. the story. But, yeah, he was like the coach building customer of customers. Million dollars a throw yeah. for everything. Well, we were just, I was just having this conversation yesterday <laughs> with my film crew at my, for my new Haggerty show that almost every shop you go to, even the very best ones, have a patron. Oh sure. You know, you go yeah. to you go sure. to a shop and there's 10 cars in there and they're yeah. all incredible and the owner of the shop will inevitably go, "Well, cars 1 through 7, yeah, that's one person." Yeah. And you go, "Ah, the patron." Yes. So right. this the, this the shop money, the money man. This shop lives and dies by this guy yeah. and everyone else is for everyone else. And and that's totally fine. It's like just how it works. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing uh there are, there are patrons at many levels. Yes. For instance, McLaren. <laughs> McLaren has a patron. <laughs> sure. I'm sure they do. <laughs> and he he was their patron as well in the nineties. Yeah. So where the fuck are all of his cars? Rotting, gone. They're all for shit. They couldn't be salvaged no. or what? He, Why not? When he shut down, when uh, he shut his, um, it's his cousin, not his brother, Joffrey, who was spending all the money. Uh -huh. You know about the boat with the the, the the boat. I think the boat's name was Tits, and the the, the speed. <laughs> the, the little tenders were boobs one and two or something. <laughs> Get was, the fuck no, no, out that's of the here. Joffrey was really go. offensive, and is, you can, is the you Game can of pull Thrones character named after him intentionally? It could be the so, shitbag in Game of Thrones. So <laughs> the <laughs> yacht is called Tits. I think the, or the, the tenders, tenders are called Tits. Well, yeah, it's, it's, you can tits you can Google that easily enough. I mean, this is a guy who built a golf course. And because it was too hot to play 
in the day in Brunei. They lit it. Can you, you imagine night? lighting yeah. a golf course, a whole 18 holes? This is That's how much crazy. money they had. So the 3,000 cars, <laughs> a handful of them would make their way out, but they were stored. Just there were cars that they were done with, or motorcycles they were done with. They'd, they'd take them to a pier and just drop them into the ocean. Dear That's Lord. So, so in all of those cars, whether they were McLaren F1s or one-of-a-kind Bentleys, that, there you yeah, go. There's, no, there's there's all that shit. stuff is sitting, rotting. Yep. It's all, and occasionally somebody will pull one or two cars out. And there was a, a Ferrari Venezia, um, a four five the six four base five six wagon, wagon, right? wagon. Yeah, yeah. that got pulled out. A handful of things got pulled out, but most He's of got it, all those weird Ital design stuff, oh, yeah. Pininfarina and Farina coach built it's shit. It's all oh, gone to rack and ruin, dude. Look at that. It's all gone to hell, and they, and they they're not interested. Once the Islamic rule took over. All this stuff became, mm -hmm. we shouldn't have bought it in the first place, and we're not interested. We don't need the money. We're not we're letting gonna anybody else have it. just going to pretend like it's not. Yeah, look, it's 3,000 I mean, 3, cars. You know, that takes up a lot of space. And it just sits? It's just sitting there? So they're going to hell because it's it's in a dehumidified, not a dehumidified, an open building where the elements are just making everything rot into the ground. And they won't, they're, they're, not, they're not interested, interested not in, interested. Yeah. forget money, they're not interested in, Historical preservation or anything oh, like that? No, 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 no not this, at all. Is this figure real? Two point three trillion? Mm. I don't know that. That I mean, that who knows? Sounds, that seems, okay. that seems, <laughs> that seems okay. a little bold. Just, just, just checking. But the car is not the collection. There's that's the four five six right, right there. Sold out of England last year, or two years ago. Uh, okay. There's uh, so the four five six is on the side there. Yeah, look, see the back of it. It's a four door outrageous car collection. That one with the nine fifty nines and all that stuff. So there there's, a nine, there's a 962, Porsche, Dower, or yeah. one of those, Koenig or Dower. And there's or one the Venezia. Of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 456 Wagon is pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, that real is. cool. That is very cool. Yeah, yeah. So all, all of that stuff is just, it's it's sadly gone into the dirt. Have, uh, have people started asking you guys for new and different stuff that you haven't expected to be asked for yet? Oh, he gets that now. Well, you first of all, <laughs> I, I have to fans. say, your customer, your, not customer, your fan base is a very kind group of guys. Oh, and, that's nice. Well, it is. I mean, and the guys that have reached out to me, and you've been very generous with sending me a bunch of folks looking for things. I can't wait Sadly, for this. it's the stuff they ask for, there are better people suited to go find this stuff. Because mm -hmm. there are guys who are... Can you help me find a uh, 997 in yellow with this option and it that option? It has to be a dot two. Yeah, and it's not. It's that stuff. There's plenty of people around the world that can help guys do that, um, and there, it shows. There's a lot of people looking for cars and they don't know where to turn to. And I wish I had another five people on staff to go. Yeah, we can help you find these things because I, I, in most instances, I can't. I just, it just, the newer stuff like that. That's a commodity based car. Mm -hmm. It's it's not it's for not you, easy for, for us you. To find. It's, it's it's a three fifty six super ninety or it's a it's well, a gullwing or it's a something yeah, a little or, or, or rarer harder much much rarer and it's only because those are the toughest things to find those commodity cars are next to impossible to find because everybody's looking for them right. I mean Magnus asked me uh, around the time you asked me for the three twenty eight to go hey can you find me a three oh eight GT four preferably non red. No, I can't <laughs> because they, uh, good ones don't exist. And if you do have somebody that's restored one or saved one, it's going to be one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, where most of them are sixty-five or seventy-five, mm -hmm. and that might be one. So you've wiped out. Well, I'm not going to pay that much money for that car. But try to find normal things it's is, is very very difficult. Yeah, it, it's not easy. And people call and say, hey, can you find me a 356C coupe and something? No, I can't. I just, it, there's too many people looking for that and stuff. And then there's all the speculators, the industry side speculators that are doing the same thing, and they're going through everything, and they're buying cars opt opportunistically to flip. And so you're competing on a massive market where you can go out and shop and get a data point, and we all know what those margins are. So that's, yeah. that's a tough thing so to it's, do. So it's very tough. But no, finding... Finding a five or ten million dollar car is way easier yes. yeah. than finding something for a hundred grand or sixty grand or something that mm. you'd feel good selling somebody. Because the other side of that is the downside. If you make a mistake, I mean, look what just happened to you yeah, with the yeah. last. Sur so here we you know, here's some nice guy comes out of the blue and says, "Steve, can you find me something?" 
Uh, yeah, okay, I found it for you. And then the car shows up, and the guy gets it, and there's two nails in the tires we didn't mm-hmm. know about, and one panel had been repainted, and all of a sudden the whole deal goes upside down, and you feel terrible about it. You right. don't want to sell somebody a bad car. You and know? so with the more expensive the car, the more is known, the more diligence is done up front, the sure. more resources are invested in yeah. knowing what you're buying before it shows up. And if mm-hmm. something's wrong on a $10 million or a a million dollar car that's going to take ten thousand dollars to fix i mean we just sold a um, <laughs> no one gives a shit yeah i mean we, we <laughs> just sold, yeah. a, we just sold a, a, the last gs speedster uh-huh which was just kind of a neat thing to, to find and I, the car went down to cam shop to be serviced and the guy I sold it to i said to him whatever it needs it's going to get because i can't sell you even if it has a down cylinder that i didn't know about we're going to rebuild the engine right but in a car like that, that's seven figures, you go, well, all of the hoses need to be changed. All of the brakes need to be changed. Wheel cylinders need to be changed. Tires need to go because they haven't been changed in 15 years. That gets all built into the price of the car, and you go, here's your car that we, I mean, we budgeted $30,000 for service on that car yeah. to just go, that's to part go of the through deal. It. So, yeah, that, yeah. so when the guy gets it and he puts gas in it, it works. It works. Yeah, yeah. So come to find out, his guys have been going through it, and it's like, it kind of doesn't need a whole hell of a lot. We're going to take the engine out to do a valve adjustment. We'll take the engine out and do a valve adjustment. Yeah. But if you buy a $50,000 car that might be 53.5 to the guy and, and he then gets it, needs it and needs 10 or 10, 12, yeah. You feel like an ass. Yeah. You know, it's terrible. I, with my car, I'm I'm not mad about what happened. Oh, yeah, I get I, it. I kind of thought, I didn't necessarily think that an entire service report would not have been done, but, right. but I knew it was going to need things. And more importantly, I wanted a lot of miles. I want to be able to turn the key and drive it and not think about it yep. forever, literally forever. Yep. And so that's where we'll be, and it'll end up costing what it costs. It's not that crazy. You're still not but over think, budget, like you said. But I, you, over your mental budget. I'm still not over my mental budget, but, and the depreciation is still zero. But I yeah. think that you're you're an outlier in many ways because you, your attitude's your, fine. Your attitude is. I like, think I went into it with the right attitude. Yeah. Correct. And, and a lot of guys don't. They go into buying something because your Ferrari is a vintage Ferrari now. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. You have to be aware that there's going to be a service bill, whether it's yeah. represented as it's totally service. There's always these things. The real weird mindset is the more money something costs, people think it's going to be more reliable and less problematic. <laughs> right, yeah. right. If I the... spent 20 k more on a different 328, right. yeah. there's no mm-hmm. reason to believe it wouldn't have also needed 80% of the same shit. Correct. Yeah. And it might have not even been the right color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least every time Donnie fucking... <laughs> Donnie will send me something and go, by the way, whatever this is, is fucked and needs to play. Okay, fine, Donnie, yeah. no problem, do it. Thank God I've got a guy who takes such pride in this shit. You can't go to Donnie and go, just change the oil. Because yeah. he'll be like, listen, I'm going to see something, yeah. and I'm not going to leave it alone. It's like Seinfeld. You know? The yeah. washer fluid is not fine. <laughs> the washer fluid is not fine. <laughs> That's good, Jake. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, good to have, it's good to have him on, the, on that case. Oh, you know? yeah. And that's the other thing. You always have to mentally budget that, and this is the thing with that, what, did, just something recently, did something recently happen to you in your oh. own car collection? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck these finished cars. <laughs> okay. Let me make my point, damn it. And I'll, yeah. and I'll tell you what it cost me. Um, you, you're, the guys that, who sell cars, and, and myself included, I'm bringing a trailer. Here's the beauty of that. It's done. Yeah. And unless something has been fraudulently described... The onus is on the person who bought the car to, to come inspect it. To come it inspect it, do it. Once you buy something at auction, yep. it's yours. It's the your guarantee problem. is it's yours. And now you deal with the consequences of that. And if you don't build in, call it 10% of the value of the car for something unexpected, right. you're a nut. Yeah. You're a fool. Uh, so in well, my own garage last weekend, the weather's getting warm. Okay, good. Let me get, and I'm doing the California Mille and my hot rod speedster. Let me make sure everything's okay. So I go to move my wife's car. Oh, there's a nail in the front rear tire. It's like, great. Okay. Front rear, huh? And I, excuse yeah, me, front, front right rear. <laughs> front right <laughs> tire. Thank you. Front right tire. I could have moved the shooting brake. Left rear tire is a nail in it. Oh, what is, yeah. So access the speedster. Take the speedster out. You know, a little bit of starter fluid in the carbs because it's been sitting. Vroom, starts right up. Warm the thing up. Go down my street, and there's a... What the fuck is that noise? Like so go like on this mile drive, and I'm, I thought I was going on a twenty mile drive. Like what the hell? 
So I get back to my driveway, and I'm leaning on the car, and I'm pushing it. Sounds like a broken shock. <laughs> and I'm like, something's not right here. Something, I got to show you the picture. Got gerbils. Something is not right. So all of a sudden I look, and my right rear tire is rubbing up against the fender. Well, that's bad. Mm. And the tire is getting worn, and the paint is now blistered. Mm. Oh, shit. I burn the paint, and I'm trying to figure out what is broken here. So come to find out, showing a picture the castle of... nut oh. snapped off the axle. Oh, yeah. That which is, meant the wheel off. was freewheeling <laughs> in the in the wheel well. Oh, so the oh only thing that was keeping the insane? wheel entire the wheel, wheel, wheel itself was the wheel well itself. Oh my so God. If I had gone over a bump, the wheel would have gone <laughs> zing. Right. Wow. So and so, John. That's Wilhoy, bad. Wilhoy yeah, that's bad. put the transmission in the car two thousand miles ago, and I send this to him. He goes, "I've never seen that." <laughs> <laughs> and, he calls, and he calls the. He co- well, he say, yeah. And there's there's the back of the rudge, you know, and the oh, nuts yeah. captive in there. It's fucking sheared off. Wow, so, sheared that off. sucks. So, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I have to, and I have to do the event in three weeks. Uh huh. So it's like, well, now I got to get the transmission rebuilt. It's lickety split. Oh, um, that's part of but, the transmission. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, so, you got to drop the whole thing. <laughs> oh no. It's, yeah. So it happens. You know, it happens. Yeah. That car has done seven thousand mile rallies <laughs> hard. <laughs> Yeah, you think that could have happened? He could have been going 70, 80 miles. Yeah, the road better net, better a mile from your house. Correct. I'll deal with the blistered paint, but stuff happens <laughs> in old cars. You know, it's yeah. just are you going to leave the paint? I have to because it's, it's about original. It's, it's about no, no. It's it's, but it's about the fifth imperfection in the paint now. I've got a ding in the hood. I've got uh, an imperfection coming through the paint and yeah. the door when it was painted. And I said to John, "Yeah, maybe this year's couple of rallies. Next year's three more rallies." And then I'll repaint the car. Yeah, and, yeah. and Cam's like, "No, you're not. You're gonna yeah, go in why? that car forever. Why would? Don't be an ass and worry about the paint." Yeah. So I think I'm. Not, I think I'm gonna never repaint my Countach. I think I'm just gonna let it. How many miles do you have on that? Thirty-four thousand kilometers. And you've put all those, the majority of those, on it. I bought it with twenty-six thousand kilometers that's in badass. 2018. That's so bad. I put some. Yeah, yeah that's I good. Put some. It runs good. It runs better because you're driving it. It's a fucking hot motor. That thing. Yeah. It runs makes great power. It's very nice. Well, it's also an iconic car. It's a blast to drive. Oh, yeah. I mean, it rules. I think it's funny because you have to take your shoes off to drive it, right? I do. Because <laughs> <laughs> of my, you have my like feet. Pancake feet. You have like Hobbit yeah, feet? Yeah, I, I got the 12 2 E's. <laughs> Ooh. You can't with the NB's. And you, you flex the new balances, bro. And, bro, my NB's are what's up. But wow. I t- yeah, I, I got to do the old Mr. Rogers <laughs> to get in the car. Mr. NB, by the way, is a serious car collector. He's, Fuck out of here. He's yeah. got about 110 cars. You know that guy? Oh, very well. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's, well, a client, he's a client. Bought a lot of the bought a lot of shoes from that dude. Oh yeah, and he's got from you. He's got replica Cobras, real Cobras, uh, pre-war Packard Duesenberg, uh, good 356s, worn out 356s, a huh. uh, handful of Ferraris. He's got. Whatever he likes, he buys. I went and to drive it uh, some replica Cobras recently, and I was shocked to find out what people pay for those. Oh, it's things. crazy! <laughs> it is nuts. That's a whole world. You, know I you don't could know. buy a four hundred thousand dollar fake Cobra. Fake, <laughs> fake, yeah. a fucking four hundred thousand dollar fake Cobra. Who is the guy that does that? That's what I want to know. They, they had them there. People were buying them. I mean, un, and you could buy you could buy a five hundred thousand dollar replica GT forty. Like what? a Superformance GT40? That movie was good for those cars. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, well, we're past peak. I think we're past peak GT40, unfortunately. I think yeah. that was it. Huh? Well, a lot of guys in the UK <laughs> race replica GT40s, so well, there's, a cool. whole, there's a home for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's the whole, you know, you go to Goodwood, and you and they tried to stop doing this two years ago at the at the festival, but, oh, the revival, uh, you look on the grid, and it's like all these cars were kind of built yesterday. Yeah, you know, there's a yeah. lot of clones of the real car, and the guy who owns the real car builds the 250 LM clone. Yeah, he yeah. builds the GTO clone. We he were just talking to uh, Andrew Frankel. Oh, sure. Uh, about this, a great car collector. Yeah, yeah. and and he was, we were talking about how at at these events you've got. One guy on the grid in the ten million dollar genuine one, and yep. he's racing against this guy who's in the eight hundred thousand dollar replica. Yep. And he's like, "Who's going to go at that corner harder?" Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, it happened, it happened to my client who was running uh, the one of the the, the sister car to Bruce's Bizzarini, the, uh-huh. the A three C A 
C three. A C three. A three C. A three C. That's a mouthful. So our client runs the sister car that ran at Le Mans in the UK, and next to him in the paddock is a Bizzarini that was made in Germany a year ago. Yeah. So it's like, well, there's the Le Mans car. And look at this thing with this monster motor in it that this guy doesn't care if he shears the whole side of it going off into a corner. Yeah. So the thing you know? is, there, are there enough you know, reproductions to have their own class? I mean, would you have... Well, that's f- Miles' Collier brought that up. He yeah. says, at what point do you... Is it okay to accept the replicas and continuation cars on the field so people can see... Actually see things. ...things that may have performed this, you know, like they were in the day? I, I have no real problem with it because I'm not putting my car up on the line, you know, the value. If, <laughs> yeah. if I think... If 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 they accept it and I owned the very valuable car, I'd have my car replicated, yeah. and yeah. I'd be like, if "Well, it can't in, beat them. Join them." If Fuck it's yeah. done yeah. in the yeah. spirit of, and it's not a NASCAR underneath, you know what I mean? No, no, no. It's, it's like, accurately, it, yeah. Yeah. accurately. Yeah. But that's yeah. the problem. Now people go and cheat. Shocking! What <laughs> those Corvette, those historic yeah. racing Corvettes are good. We were never. Oh that my fast. god, yeah. oh, fucker! This has got an LS fucking two, an LS three in it. <laughs> size of the brakes on that car. Those were not 1967 brakes. Yeah, they're on C. They're Grand Sports on C5 chassis. You C5 yeah. chassis, exactly. So you kind of go. No, it's yeah. got to be legit. It's got to be. This, but got, everybody identical. always, you know what people are like. They want to win. They're going to cheat. They're going to get an edge. Our Holman, Holman and Moody are showing up. <laughs> yeah. Fucking 7 8 scale. 7 8 scale. <laughs> that's good. The 7 8 scale. That's the fucking move. Well, that and the, with the fuel lines underneath the car to, yeah. to put more fuel in it. The gas tank can only be so big. Well, if we run two miles of <laughs> fuel line under the car, <laughs> the fuel line looks like a refrigerator, a refrigerator coil under. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, you know, uh, a have you guys effort. been watching Drive to Survive on Netflix? Mm. The Formula One thing? Oh, oh I, yeah, saw the yeah, fir- yeah. I saw the first season. I oh, haven't oh. watched the second. Oh yeah, third. season two is awesome. <laughs> season three is, is going, but I'm waiting to. F- I, I didn't pay attention during the season. I'm waiting to figure out what happens with. Apparently. Lance uh, Lawrence Stroll mm-hmm. just like bought a Mercedes and started ra- started racing it like they copied or bought a complete Mercedes F1 car and people don't really like that. Well, I mean, when you out. buy Aston Martin uh, <laughs> and then you can buy whatever really you want, and even <laughs> Aston Martin's related to Mercedes Benz now. I know. Um, yeah, you know, there can be a lot of shenanigans. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, it's just like the oh. V8 Vantage. We have Mercedes power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's uh, kind of good fascinating luck. watching in real time the drama of that series because it's like all, you know, F- if you're an F1 buff and watching all the drama over the years, we're having this like real time unfolding in front of our eyes. Unbelievable drama. Like yeah. you're, you're like, these people can't be that shallow or this exceptional. Oh, you know? sure they can. I mean, it's amazing. It's yeah. I, I I'm not that into like football or anything, but yeah. I like watching those thirty for thirties on yeah, ESPN. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't care about the sport as yeah. much as I care about the stories the within human, the, the personality. Yeah, yeah. The so human for story. that it's great. Yeah, it is great. Let's go to the people because we've got a bunch of questions and I would like Uh-oh. to get to some of them. Um Miguel says, uh I don't. Oh, MKBHD. Is that a, is that Marcus Brownlee guy? I don't. Uh, Miguel, I don't know who you're talking about. Huge tech channel and car enthusiast. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know him. I think I might have seen that guy before, but I'm sorry, I don't know a lot about him. Isaiah says, uh, question to all. Any experience with Cunninghams from the yeah. 1950s? Anything? Yeah, Anything? I mean, cool? uh, sure. Not cool. I mean, I, Cunningham reminds me now of Glickenhaus, or Glickenhaus reminds me now of Cunningham. Yeah, that's because, well, a good point. Um, yeah, privateer, all the money in the world, uh, the right attitude, a proper C4, uh, easy car to run. Mm-hmm. I mean, a big Hemi motor in it, no doubt, and... Uh, the C4 cool. kind of look like a first-gen vet a little bit? Nah, it looks, it's not that... Or is it, it before that? It's before that. Like Allard-ish? Yes. Yeah, right? And a little more boxy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, there, there's there's a home for them. There's a real niche following for the cars. Um, I mean, every time one comes up for sale, it, it sells for big money if yeah. it's a legit car. Yeah, they're beautiful, too. They're Neat good. looking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel Berman says, I'm 18 and found out I'll be going to Art Center. Oh, cool, this fall. But I'm a Jew from New York. How will I find <laughs> Oh, my God. There to are LA. Jews here, too. Don't worry. Don't worry We're all Daniel. here already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We've your, already taken over. Bring your card and they'll stamp it and everything yeah. will Didn't be good. Didn't you know we run the media, motherfucker? <laughs> I was about to say, like, <laughs> wait a second. 
<laughs> and the be, movie industry. And the, you will be just fine. Pasadena is actually quite a lovely place to live. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. very nice. And hey, Art Center is very cool. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. It's, it's huge. It's yeah, very a, hard to get into Art Center. Well done, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Congratulations. No, as a Jew from New York, you'll fit right <laughs> in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd hear that today. but that's There are no fair. guineas from Boston coming <laughs> to school. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. They are definitely no guineas from Boston. They don't. Very few Goombas, but the Jews have made it. Oh, yeah. My people did not cross, (laughs) not even the Mississippi. They really didn't get past New York. (laughs) I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. They don't like going They like the smell here. Let's stay in Boston. Uh, Lakshya (laughs) says, I've been looking for a sporty rear-wheel drive manual car that won't depreciate too much. My budget it's fifty to sixty thousand dollars. I've been looking at BMW One M's, E ninety two M threes, Cayman R's. You are in the right zone. Yeah, yeah. for all sure. Good choices. All, all those are good choices. I'm Plenty take, of nine elevens in I'm, that range. I'm taking mm. the uh, the Cayman R. I mean, I think that's a great it's car. A great car. I mean, I, I, that's where I slant. Um, but yeah, you're you're in the right home. I like whatever the, you I pick like there. You're gonna make it. You know, here's the thing: drive all of them. There's yeah. the answer. There's go out and drive all of them. Don't make the freshman error of going. There's this a, is what I think I want, yeah. and I'm gonna buy it on the looks because you may hate it. Those are three very different things to drive. Too. Yeah, yeah. I, you have to determine what type of experience you want because yeah. if you're talking rear drive, yep. That's one thing. But then the engine could be in the front, it could be in the middle, and it yeah. could be in the back. Yeah, exactly. So, And those cars will behave a little bit differently from each other. So, yeah. you know, do you want a Mustang, you want a Vet, or do you want, like, mid-engine kind of balance, or do you want the 911 thing? Yep. Cayman R's are good, though. What are they going for these days? No I think, idea. I think that's the pocket. About that's 60. Yeah. That's 60. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. It's still a lot. It's a Cayman lot of R. car for them. It's a lot of money. And it's a lot of money for and a Cayman cool. R. <laughs> no, they're yeah, pretty damn cool. They didn't make, quickly, I don't think they're going to drop, I drove though. one when it was new. The car's not going to get any worse. I thought, get, yeah. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a little overpriced for what it was, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, they're slow. <laughs> they are. <laughs> that, well, they, I didn't think there was a, a big enough bump from S to R mm. at that time right. to justify what was, I think, like a twenty five thousand dollar price increase. Right. Not like a GT four today, where it's like different motor, different yeah, everything. Right. Um, Weirenfeld uh, is asking about McLaren. The question you have: Can you go in the regular non super chat and? I don't know the details of that, and I definitely don't even want to read that sentence on the air oh. unless someone, uh, unless there's a, a, a follow up with what you're talking about regarding drag times and McLaren. I don't, I don't know the story, but go in the free chat and follow up and tell me what it is so we can know. Uh, and then, yeah, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, also wrist checks in the room. Wrist what check. watches are you wearing? Sirio's got a white dial Daytona with a steel bezel that I bought new in it's 1995. Very nice. nice. Wow. Yeah. It was like it was like 5500 bucks, 5400 dollars. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Awesome. And, and I told you, my I I lost my watches, you know, they were donated. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, so somebody is wearing my watch collection involuntarily Invo- donated. donated. So yeah. this is this I had on my wrist at the time and it must have been a reason to keep it. It's so, a very nice watch. <laughs> yeah. So that that's that's been Works with any outfit. Yeah. Cam, what do you got? I have play? a Tudor Black Bay a chronograph that I love. This is my daily. Two-tone. Be- yep. It's very nice. So I beat the shit out of it. I work on cars with it. And it's a good piece. It's yeah. Tudor it's, makes a nice watch. They really do. Peter in the background? Yes. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, Look up Ratsy. Tag Hoyer? Yeah. Is that a Caliber 02? It is. It's a Caliber 02. Yeah. Very nice watch. And then I've got my my <laughs> Bremont MB2. I have my I have I like my, my other watch that I still have that I didn't lose was a Bremont. They're not, they make it I'm was, a, I'm an ambassador. You are. Yeah. Are you? They make what, very nice watches. Ian Callum did the Jag watch with the yeah. wheel behind and everything. Yeah. I had to have yeah. one cuz he's like a Bremont. good guy and yeah. we're friends and they just I had announced to have that. they're the uh, timekeeping partner of Williams F1. Really? Yeah. Wow. And they're moving into should let their chronographs run long. Is that cold as ice? Sorry. Cold as ice. I like their face. They do really classic yeah. f- designs. Tool, tool watch. Yeah. Uh, good quality nice. for the money, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're nice really, pieces. They're and really they're really, really, nice, nice, really nice people. I love working with them. They're great. They're and really they're, cool. They're moving to a brand new building. You see their building? The yeah. Wing. It's called yeah. The Wing, and it looks like the McLaren Technology Center. It does. Huh. Yeah. It, it's inspired by the McLaren Technology Center. The partners Center. are up on the roof taking pictures. That's yeah. pretty cool. Good watches in the room. Jay... No watch. Not today. Bare-wristed. Sean M. with a red comment. We know what that means. What is that? Uh, oh, just wanted to say hi. And they want more Steve and Cam. Can <gasps> do. Well, you know, if, if, if uh, Matt was needs to expand his 
team of people uh, to be regulars, you know. Uh, you, I, I you... understand podcasters are expanding out here. They're becoming bigger <laughs> yeah, crews of people. So maybe you need a crew, oh, Matt. Boy, maybe we right. need... Did you know everyone's going to Texas? <laughs> everyone's leaving. <laughs> we, uh, I was thinking about taking over Mark Maron's spot, and, and Joe Rogan is kind of passe now. So Cam can be Joe, I'll be Mark, and we're going to join Matt. When you go behind the paywall, it's tough. <laughs> when you go Joe behind said the that, paywall. yeah. Uh, new uh, a while ago someone asked what the best Sopranos car was oh. answer is obvious in the very last episode AJ is driving an E46 M3 yeah. he is in the very last in episode very last oh episode. yeah because yeah. I don't think of the Sopranos as a place you go to you know watch the cars it was not a great car spotting show Californication more so Californication you know? was California good great. Yeah. yes yeah. Californication is filled in my neighborhood in Venice and every freaking Sopran- frame yeah no. right every frame every single frame yeah but the yeah. Sopranos, like, there were some interesting choices. I always liked when Christopher's cars would get stolen yes. or whatever. Yes, me too. And then he'd show up in a rental Bonneville. Oh, my God, Bonneville, oh. yeah. <laughs> like, it's was about that. Yeah, yeah. All, Listen, the, all the mob Chrissy Cadillacs was like car and Bonnevilles. Oh, I was on heroin or something. so good. <laughs> he had a lot of, he had more cars than Tony. And you're always rooting yeah. for him. He's like, you can, he's going to get his life together. Yeah, Tony was always in a truck. <laughs> yeah. Tony was always Tony just explore, had the, the red right? truck, yeah. Yeah. the red the Suburban, escalade. the white Suburban, Escalade. Suburban, yeah. Yeah. And then he fucking <laughs> took that guy's car from the gambling debt and gave it to AJ. Uh, oh, the from yellow T2. Yeah, 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 or something. Xterra. 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 <laughs> Xterra. Like, but that's but that's Todd's car. He's <laughs> like, it's your car now. It's your car. Now. <laughs> <laughs> good, great. good spot there. Yes, he is driving an M3 in the very last episode. Yeah, uh, last that was, scene, that, that last was scene of the last episode. Strange yeah, yeah. Question. Well, let, let, let's talk about ask. E46 values. That, they're nuts. Are they yeah. the roof? Have Crazy you driven the new M3 or M4? Mm-hmm. That's why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's I, you're how out do, of decline. How now. does BMW screw that up? How do they make their cars look the way Same they do? Same way now, everyone back. else screws up cars: bigger, fatter, faster, <laughs> number. Yeah. I mean, do you think the new 911 is too big in the ass? I love how it drives, and it is very, very fast. Didn't ask you how it drives. But yes, it is too big. It is too big. You can no longer move Chubacu. in the lane. You're you have one line through the lane, hmm. and if you move in the lane, your your wheels are on the line. Yeah, it's wide. Like when we put outside the building today, I was just looking at Jay's nine nine seven. I was thinking that really is the last. It's the right size. It's the right size car. It's the right size. Yeah. The right that's why everyone loves those RSs. Those nine nine seven. Oh RSs. man, that's that's why they're the, psh, popping. The right size and The values car. are exploding. Three eights yeah. and four liters are. Yeah. And the hydraulic steering still has the steering. Yeah, yeah. I like the new steer. The new. St- I have no problem with current 911 steering. Yeah. Really, they haven't fucked it up. They're good. It's better than but anybody it, else. But it's better than anybody else. Still different than hydraulic. It is. I Same tell thing you, with the 992 the is. I didn't want to like it, but the platform's amazing. It's, it is big. Have you been in a Turbo S yet? Yes. It's fucking bananas. Yes. I was down at Birmingham, <laughs> and they're like, "Beat it all you want." Like yeah. they have them on the track. And you can drive have Do they bring out any modern stuff to the Road Scholars event for people to play with a little bit? I think that's something we're going to talk to him about. Seems so, like an opportunity. It seems like a real opportunity. I think mm-hmm. uh, our RS Invitationals, I think what we're going to evolve to is having you bring your classic, whatever, your vintage race car, and then you bring a GT car. Yeah, that could be fun. you can get both experiences. And there's enough tr- race track and time to... Uh, there's so much track time. I mean, these guys were getting... They could have gotten combined eight hours of track time. You, which... you, you get guys <laughs> that don't normally race cars, yeah. and, and you put them out for 20 laps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 they, and they might They're be like... 70 years old. <laughs> yeah. They get a little tired. Yeah. You know, so you, then you get the track like, well... Don't you want to go out for the whole rest of the day? Yeah. No, I'm going to rest for a little while. Yeah. Then I'll go back out again later. I'm going to have Do lunch. You, can I get a massage? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that's, an ooh, that's an idea. That's a brilliant yeah. day massage that's program. Yeah. Going. I'm going to give that's him that stick brilliant. and be like, get yeah, the, the, good, the massage tape. Move it. Do it at like, if you do it at Thermal or something, they're like yeah. set up for shit like that. Really? Yeah, one of the private like country club tracks. Yeah, yeah. They're set up for, well, Road Atlanta and like the boilerplate tracks yeah, that have been around since like the 50s. Exactly. There's not, there's nothing. It's they got the, a pretty good tower. Though. Actually, the Michelin oh, Tower. Oh, the new tower. Yeah, yeah. it's off the, the new, charts. Oh, it's off. The new but there's tower. no massage room that I knew about. Well, I mean, look. <laughs> look, any, <laughs> there any, room, a any room is a bead curtain and a table exactly. away from the <laughs> My time Jeff was cash for the whole The ATM day. is downstairs if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, this could, you know. Yeah. But I That's think a great idea. It would be fun. Like, I would love to see. 
Just for my own person. Like, if I came to your event, like, yeah. I would. Do they run any transponders? Do they ever run any lap yeah. times in those cars? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. I would love to see what a Tycon Turbo S runs against a fucking 917 it around cool. Road Atlanta. It would be cool. Wouldn't to that see. be crazy? Be like, cool. that yeah. would be a good time. It would time. be good to see. You yeah. know? We could bring Lee out or whatever yeah. it, to, it, to it, hot rod it, but like. Now we got to get Miles to bring the 917 yeah. back. That, that was a that moment more? of like, wow. <laughs> Jesus. I wasn't old enough to see them in person in Le Mans the day. Missed it by a generation, but seeing them race now, that's it's, pretty serious. That's pretty awesome. Were they, let, were they really letting them run, too? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. No, they, were they, they were not dogging it. Yeah. And, and you think about that where when people say, I don't want to drive my car. That's a pr- that could be the most priceless Porsche. Yeah. I mean, you can't really think of a car that's more valuable in that world than that 917K. And he has driving it at speed. But you got to be but you have to be able to at least empathize with somebody who has probably has the means to buy it but but may not really have the means to fucking just YOLO it. You know oh, what no, I mean? About new cars. <laughs> you know? That's a different about level. New <laughs> that's yeah. a different new car, guys. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to put too many miles on my oh, car. That's that's why? You are your, what are you having it for? People who don't put miles on their car are just really bad at math. They should collect They're so butterflies. It's, bad it's, at it's, math. It, oh, it's so bad. Miles are so cheap. Yeah. Like on anything, and people miles brag are about so it all the, uh, People brag about it all the time. I have a collection of cars. I have no miles. I don't drive them. I'm like, congratulations, <laughs> yes. please. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just, yeah, we call them international time wasters. That's what we. <laughs> I mean, it might be impressive to see a low mileage vintage car to go. Oh well, all right, it's preserved or whatever. Right. Like. But a brand new thing that's a GT Fucking car that they're making a ton of, and they're the, like, it's a painted sample. I'm probably going to make 50 grand over MSRP here. Like, yeah. <laughs> the dollar value of miles my versus own. experience. Oh, like, oh is, it's experiential. That's what it's all about. I mean, I, what I, whatever my, my, the depreciation of miles on my red Lamborghini is right. versus the amount of enjoyment I've had over 7,000 Countach miles, <laughs> all those rolling ups, yeah. all those popping the doors. Yeah. But that's the damn so point. So cheap, it's nothing. Yeah. That's, that's the, the whole point. That's the whole when point. I drove my speedster across the country. I never had more fun. Yeah. Yeah. So many 600 miles a day in that car. Yeah. You're sitting there dying, giggling the whole time because you're driving it. And if you, you know? and if you then sell the car honestly, and it's mm-hmm. got some miles on mm-hmm. it, and you went, oh, well, it's got miles because I did a thousand trouble-free mile road trip. You go, oh. Well, then I could do a thousand trouble for you, and then it's you know, and then it's an okay thing. Something I just thought about that's a 360 point on some of the questions, the Cunningham question that the Mr. Mo- Mr. Collier's collection is the Briggs Cunningham collection. So he bought the Briggs Cunningham right. collection. Oh. You know, from back and when in you the day. buy a collection, and yeah. it's a, that's crazy. Buying it, just taking over an and entire it was, uh, collection. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. one of the best in the world. It's easily top three collections. Oh, his it's, miles. Well, it's it's probably top, top two five. between him and Everett Lauman. Yeah, think. yeah. Lauman. Is, Lauman. Did you get the, that that book every year? Yeah. The key. Yeah. The key. Yeah. I just yeah. learned about the key. Oh, what? I, this is my my first time. I just read it. I was like, oh, this is fucking interesting. Yeah. My fam- my dad, it is real interesting. And all these guys take it seriously. Like my dad's <laughs> in it. He la- he laughs. They're like, oh, we've moved up another few spots this year. <laughs> Dude, fucking Jay is like number fifty or something. Yeah. I mean, if, it, there's, uh, it's unbelievable. Strangely, most of his stuff is kind of pedestrian, other than yeah. the, most the, of Jay's stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's he has it, a lot of regular a lot of stuff. 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 Yeah, I mean, it, but it, it's like I, car guy stuff. It's like real engineering it's, cool it's, stuff. It's cool stuff, but yeah. compared right, but he'll, to he has he's got like. C5 Corvettes yeah. and weird Trans Ams he got from whatever for whatever reason. He's got random shit. Yeah. It's yeah. not all. It's not but all. But like right. Bruce is number 20. It's like, you're telling me there's 19 heavier hitters oh, sure. than yeah, Bruce? Like, yeah. fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Strange but true. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's got? see what two else more. we got. Uh, two more. Still, uh, oh, uh, Ryuka Chu says, how do we feel about high-end faithful EV conversions of collector cars? This may even become necessary as time goes on. Um, Have you guys any experience? I think we talked about this the last time we were on the show. Did Actually, you? We had, the, we had this very same similar question. Eve, um, what is it? EV, like you know, yeah. like there's there's a couple. Have you seen? There's a guy who's doing a Range Rover doing, counties from the yeah, 80s yeah. as there, EVs. There's 911s too. There's 911s. A it's a, it, uh, to me, it's a question that nobody asked an answer for. I mean, it was just buy an EV. I mean, if if you want an old car, buy an old car. I, yeah. I don't I don't know why you have to marry them. It's not the the old goofy oh chocolate and peanut butter. Whoever uh, thought of combining these two things? <laughs> oh look, Reese's cups. That's it, that's a <laughs> the best invention in the mind, world. Mind blown. I think there's certain instances where it could complement 
the original car's mission. For instance, a 1960s Rolls Silver Cloud or a no. Cadillac maybe from the 50s or something like that. No, you're taking away the charm of what it was all about. Whether yeah. it's good, bad, or indifferent charm, you're taking away that real DNA of the car. And it's if, if I heard Button and Ant the other day talking about what they're doing, they're leaning in some direction where they're going to do old, new, whatever they're doing, mm. cool. But yeah. if, it's, if, you're, if you're They're putting, doing coach building. They're not yeah, doing EV conversions. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. 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 So so it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't see it. it. It's like when uh, Megan and, and Harry got married and they were in the Jag with the electric power and <laughs> Aston is doing, the, doing it to DB6 Volantes. And no, go buy a new car that has an EV. Go buy a Tesla. Go buy a, a Taycan. Go buy whatever it is. Yeah. Why do you have to combine these two things? I mean, sure. I don't know. It's not my thing either, per se. Yeah. I, I, I think especially considering what happens to a car when you remove the the vibrations and shit of an engine and the mechanicals right, yeah. is you start hearing all these other rattles and stuff. <laughs> and I think people would not be happy to find out how much those cars rattle They'd when you like, take away how the, dangerous how they, dangerous they really are. <laughs> take away the powertrain <laughs> vibrations. Oh my god. That's funny you mentioned like a cloud rolls. I can't think of a more extreme example of putting an EV engine that would in be something badass. like that. I, mean, I think it'd be cool. Oh, it'd be awful. It would be awful. I'd have like I an El Dorado. Like I just seconds. drove for my new Haggerty <laughs> show. Uh, I drove a Willys Jeep with, Ooh, with like, an EV conversion. How was that? Pretty cool. I mean, it was the Did kind of thing. Did your testosterone instantly go lower? Or? It was the kind of, dude, it would be <laughs> great. Level, low T level. Bro, you want to talk about the Hamptons, Nantucket. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like it's almost like a fucking tender for a yacht. Yeah, but how say, much yeah. is it? Well, it was a one-off custom. I think that I think the 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 Jeep, I think it was like thirty or forty thousand dollars to do the EV conversion. But you'd have oh, to beat. Oh, that's that's a lot less than I would have thought. I wasn't doing it to promote a business's yeah. EV conversion service. I thought it you was just, actually just weird and different and fun. Yeah. Um. And but but did it fucking work? Like, dude, you're a driver Willie's Jeep. I mean, what a shit box. Uh, right. I mean, <laughs> you know, you yeah. could you can improve. It's it's not authentic at right. all. Right. But. If you wanted to run around Martha's Vineyard in the summer with the kids, you know, you throw the th you plug it in. Well, D, my da, 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 whatever, my fine. 1960 yeah. Land Rover, which serves that purpose, is a little bit of a cheater because it has a 240D diesel engine in it, yeah. and oh. it starts every time. Yeah. If you had a 1960 That's Land a Rover, flex, you parked it in a moist environment. <laughs> it's not starting the next day. It's yeah. just not. I had them. I yeah. Had them. With the diesel engine, sure. Yeah. The, 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 the diesel drivetrain swap is good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah but same I, thing. EV, with the EV thing takes away the personality for me. I don't know. Um, the last Too question. Old. Uh, David says, do you have favorite people to PPI cars? How does one get that gig, especially not brand specific? He's asking about himself because he has pro ta race team experience and wrenched on lots of high six-figure hot rods. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's about experience wrenching. I think it's really about... You have to have some subject expertise. You yeah. know, like if you're talking about specific things, you want someone knowledgeable in that specific field. Like, you know, TL Marco at TLG. Marco doesn't like to do PPI. I know. Well, there's, yeah. a, there's a catch to that, because if you miss something, you're accused of the guy that didn't catch what Correct. Yeah. Right. And yeah. something could break five minutes after the mm -hmm. car goes out the after the PPI that has nothing to yeah. do with what he was looking at, and, oh, you missed it, and now, we, now I'm we, fucked. We do them so, for very special clients in our shop, but, I mean, I yeah, can... we uh, stop doing them. We, we can <laughs> literally stop. spend... We can, uh, people like me are like, always get a PPI, and yeah, people yeah. who have the best shops are like, I don't fucking do PPIs. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not unless I'm selling the car. But you know what they you are? Know, I, they, we get them because people buy stuff on Bring a Trailer, and then they realize they bought a shit box. Oh, they send it afterwards. And they right. send it afterwards, and you're like... <laughs> That's a post-purchase inspection. A post -purchase, That's a problem. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, another one of my quotes is, why are you making your problem my problem? Yeah. I got enough problems. I don't want your problem. So, you know. It's but if you're a good mechanic, you can get a job. I mean, any shop right now, if you're a quality mechanic that has yeah. fun. And, and you can you do get the job fundamentals. Yeah. I mean, if I'm buying a 300 SL, I know who to spend to send the 300 SL to in a Mercedes dealership. Right. Or, you know, I'm not sending it to a Porsche shop. If I'm buying a Ferrari, I'm sending it to a Ferrari yeah, place. Yeah, the problem with this dude's question is the words not brand specific. Yeah, that's because you have to be I won't even specific. get a fucking oil change with someone who's not brand specific. No. So forget a PPI. And the and like, dude, when I brought Don, when I bring Donnie somewhere, 
he'll f- he f- he'll find shit from across the room. Yeah, he won't even be within twenty feet. <laughs> Serial. That's what. When I first brought my car to no, fucking Donnie, on. he <laughs> goes, <laughs> "No, he just foot. goes." He goes, uh, "He goes, where'd you get this car?" And I go, "It's out, it was out of out of Georgia," and I said, "But the guy before me bought it at Amelia Island auction." He just goes, "Oh uh-huh. yeah, I looked at this car." <laughs> <laughs> oh, and your heart, your Thanks. stomach went. Oh, you, go, oh, oh. You, you looked at it. Looked at it huh? I passed on it for the guy no, that asked no, me no. to look for it. Last now time. he, now he, lo- now he takes a very particular pride in this car yeah. because I drive it around. I send him a lot of business, and he knows yeah. I'm going to put a lot of miles on it, and that's what he's into. Sure, his 308's got 150 thousand miles on it, and that's that's the thing he's into. So he's like, if you're not selling it, I'm going to do you know? I'm going to go above and beyond, and that's what he's doing. And now I have a great driving car, so. So that's the it's nuts. All good. Last question before we wrap this bitch up. Kyle B is buying a used new generation NSX. Will these hold their value relatively well, in my opinion? Well, that's, that is <laughs> the, like my face. Cam's face says <laughs> nine. Nine. Like then at nine. No, uh, I don't think hybrid I don't think hybrid powertrain cars no. that don't sound very good at full throttle will hold their value. I think he's well. he's doing the right thing by buying one that's already depreciated yes. a bit, I hope. Yep. Um and yeah, that, that, you're on a good start there, but no, don't worry about the value of it. Worry about putting sixty thousand miles on it and using it like an appliance. And when it's done, yeah. it's done. It if these things, things are, are, so what? I'm gonna interrupt you. you go for no, no, no. I, I, think, I do a lot of. I gotta stop that. It, <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes back to what you were saying earlier. You're holding together, though. Come on. <laughs> you have your Countach miles, right? Mm. And, and none of us like to lose money, but as a, we tell clients every day on the phone. Go into this. What do you think the return? What's what's the ROI? What's the return on investment? I'm like, why? You already have portfolios. You already have other asset classes returning ROIs. Or even a gentleman like this, buy because you love it, and buy because you're going to have these experiential miles and right. experiences. You've had a great dinner, right? You've had off the charts dinner somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So somebody said to you, you could fly to Italy to go have the best meal you've ever had, or in our case, we had our best meal we've ever had in, in Vienna last year. Yeah. If you could go to Vienna again and have that meal, you could already count the plane ticket, the cost of the dinner, the wine, the whole thing. And at the end of it, nobody's going to say, so what was the ROI on your dinner? Yeah. It's like the experience. You had a yeah. fantastic time. If you can afford to do it, go do it. Yeah. And that that's what differentiates the being, I don't know, being successful is not the right way to put it, but if you are successful, right. And you, and you're not just a work junkie, and you want to enjoy your life. It's time to spend some of the money, and there's a cost associated with that. If you're worth fifty million dollars, and you come in and you say, "What's the ROI in this? Why are you going to spend the fifty million dollars? You have to worry <laughs> no, about I, next but year." But I think a lot of people right now, you know, in in an uncertain, you yeah. know, markets and whatever, and and oh my God, this, I'm, I'm gaining money, I'm losing money, but I'm what am I doing? I'm just watching the number go. I'm, I'm in Bitcoin. You know, is it up? Is it down? Is it up? Is it down? Yeah. Jesus, no. <laughs> what Ponzi scheme? I know. <laughs> we, you talked about that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so but I good. think I think they feel like maybe maybe if I if I park this money you yeah. know here I could make a little bit and also enjoy it a bit and I, and I think don't do that with cars. It's not a good it's idea. Not to do with that cars. magazine, don't do the with key, cars. Yeah. yeah, it pretty much indicates that cars are not a great. They're not a great. The only car that beat the stock market in the last fifty years. Do you see that? The 250 GTO yeah, is the yeah, only, only car, car to beat the S and P 500 over do it, fifty years. If you years. buy something rare enough and ride it out long term. You'll, you'll be okay. Yeah. You know, but it's got to be something pretty I'm damn gonna special. I'm going to get my ass handed to me on that Bentley unless I keep it for <laughs> yeah. 10 years. If I think about selling it in one or two or three years, I won't do it because of the pounding I'm going to take. Right. Think, think about so, all the GT3 Tourings that are hitting the market now. That was the hottest thing a year ago, you know, and now the new tour, the new GT3's out, the Tourings coming up next, and all these guys that didn't drive their Tourings. And they're, they're, the market's getting flooded right now mm-hmm. with Torrents. Right? Are they really? Yeah, there's a Is now the of, time to buy a Torrent? Yeah. I mean, they're going to continue uh, to depreciate. Tip of the day. Great but it's like the guy asked so about awesome the NSX, car. don't do it. Buy don't a Torrent. Buy a Torrent. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, if those, I don't know what NSXs are, but if they're s- 80 grand right now, yeah, that's, that's an $80,000 driving experience. That's a great Bar no, none. That's a great driving yeah. experience. And it's, and it's not, not a bad, bad car. car. No. It's a good car, but yeah. it's not a, it doesn't have the elements Correct, that a, be, a buy and hold should yeah, have. It's not going to go up 20, 10%. Looks great. Sounds great. Yep. Analog. No, it doesn't no, have those doesn't things. Have, no. <laughs> it doesn't have those things. Those are the things. Right. Oh, You're yeah. not buying a Tesla Y again? I mean, well, this you... is, the you know, we just did the new M4 with his heinous schnoz. Oh, it's 3,800 pounds. You know, and yeah, it's really fast. But my takeaway was, 
fucking i need to buy a v8 m3 like yeah. immediately <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i need the, i need the cleanest stick shift m3 sedan with a v8 yep. left yeah. That because because we're past the peak. That's an it's end of an era. What do you think? Is there anything that you guys are seeing? Because obviously people are people are buying the good the good shit and even the average shit. Is there anything that you think is past its prime and not coming back? Oh hell yeah yeah hell yeah whole generation of cars. Anything from America? <laughs> <laughs> I not my purview, but I sold. All of my old cars that weren't Porsches, and old by, I mean, 50s and 60s stuff, because it was sliding and sliding fast. My mm. GT350 Fuley Corvette, that stuff was not, it ain't coming back. I don't. I think there's a whole generation of people that love those cars, and they're not a lot of fun to drive. They're more beautiful to look at. They, they serve a purpose. I think certain 50s Ferraris, Jags, Astons, all that stuff, I, you know. If you want, if you want a deal on one, just wait a little bit longer and Fucking wait a little Jensen bit longer. Button had me really wanting to buy a Jaguar <laughs> oh, XK120 oh or something. <laughs> well, that was a special was XK120, yeah. and I've seen his gold seat. To say he he, he, did, he didn't completely come clean on the seat type. That's a hot rotted seat type yeah. that was run by a hot shoe at historic events uh-huh. that would paste people. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> I saw that car get wrecked, and not wrecked, but banged up in Monaco a bunch of years ago at the historics, and it was uh, JD Classics. God rest their soul. And <laughs> want to talk about a debacle. We want to talk, want to talk about people going to jail. They were running the car, um, <laughs> and they were they were a hot, he had a hot shoot, and I forget who was driving it. Nobody could keep up with him yeah. because the car was so beautifully modified, and the guy driving it was driving against amateurs in their vintage cars, yeah. and he was doing this with them. Yeah. And everybody who got to the grid went, "Oh shit, the C types here." <laughs> it's like and not. And, and, and pasted the other C types, pasted the D types, mm. and he's th- that's a second. very good car. Oh, and, cool! And the XK120 that he's got, cool car. He seems you know. to have some. And all, when we were after the show, we talked about some of the other stuff. He's got some fucking cool yeah, stuff. He's yeah, he's got cool stuff. Yeah. He does. Yeah. And, he, and he's he, a cool dude. Obviously, I mean, he was very mellow. Yeah, he was very. And I think the fact that we like really didn't talk about his F1 career or really yeah. give a shit was yeah. was a good thing. He's probably tired of talking about that. I'll be. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll be. He was cur- happy to talk about anything think, else that wasn't that. I'll be yeah. curious to. see See what Radford does because I obviously wish every. Did you anybody, know any? Do you know anything about Radford? Sure. sure. Well, you did. Hippie Pete in the corner. Peter is an expert. Water, water, water. He's a oh, Radford you? expert. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Wait. Did yeah. Get, 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 get on there, Hippie I, Pete. I've had yeah. my time with uh, Harold Radford cars. Really? I've had my what time. If, what is? What if? You, what does that mean? So, wait. I want to make sure <laughs> that you have uh, say some things. Yes. Hello. Into the microphone. Can we hear me? I think. I think so. I can. Harold Radford is the topic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he used to modify Rolls Royces and Bentleys often, did some Aston Martins into shooting brakes, but his Rolls Royce and Bentley work was related to hunting. Um, he would... Uh, yeah, they would make the gun the, compartments right. and yeah, the fold-out bars. Mall, uh, yeah. Stools that would screw onto the bumper overriders. Make sure uh, Pete sounds right, Jay. Sorry. Tables that would uh, slide out of the trunk. There you go. Uh, there you go. Roofs that would open... <laughs> So that you could stand inside the car and, and hunt shoot. Yeah. and Keep shoot. that toward you. There you go. Uh, rear seats would fold down into beds. They pretty much like invented the hatchback. Th- they did. The fold down seats, yeah. yeah. It was full, cool. Full requisites. And then they did these minis wanted. with like these like Rolls wow. Royce interiors in the minis. Right. So the question is, will the modern world accept that kind of styling? I don't know. I well, think it it could be cool, but it, they're trying to do this in America, and like Americans don't really know about Radford. Correct. Well, it's like they, saying I'm going to go bring Studebaker back to the UK. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked something different. I mean, the Radford conversion shooting brakes are beautiful. The yeah, they're cool. Ones, the panel craft ones suck. The Radford ones are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which I get, ones were the panel craft ones? Oh, the panel craft ones. You took a DB6, mm-hmm. and the difference you can tell. Uh, on the rear window, the window tears up and the Radford tears down like a normal hatchback. And for some reason, the Panelcraft ones go up in the back and they look ridiculous. Oh. They're not as smooth. In they did all the DB6s? Well, they, they would send DB6s to Panelcraft to have them. I think Radford may have done one DB6. But Innes Ireland had the most famous one, um, and he just drive around and use it as a shooting brake, and it was cool. And the minis, I get. The front of them were kind of like, you took the mini design and you put the square headlights. But the, uh, uh, I don't know. The Beatles all had them. They were making great points. 
And again, I hope they do really well with whatever they're putting money into. Yeah. I don't get it. I mean, it's like, of all the things to say, it's like, well, Radford was available. I bet it was. Panel crafts are probably available. <laughs> and I bet other things are available. Well, so, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think they have a genuine interest in the coach building yes. thing. Yeah. yeah. And I think they're really bored of all the modern supercars that Correct. you can buy at well, the $200,000 price point. We talked about point. that last night at dinner. Like, and they seen. want uh, to offer, it's a small run of cars, I think 25 yeah. cars or something. It's not a huge number of cars. And, and, I don't. I don't want to say what the car is yeah. based on, but I know. Mm. And it, if they do a good job, I think it'll be very cool. Well, what do you think? Like, okay, let's take that a step further. You have a Vanquish. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of Ian Callum's recreation of the Vanquish for oh. three quarters of a million dollars? <laughs> I'm not. You know, I, I met Ian once, and he was so nice. And I and he told me the most interesting thing, which is that he's never owned any car that he designed. Right. And I said, "Well, that's mm. that's wild. Why is that?" And Couldn't he said, finish the design. He said, by the time it got to the bean counters and the pedestrian standards and whatnot, it wasn't his design anymore, and he didn't he didn't like them. Yep. Okay, fair enough. And so I guess this is his finished design for the Vanquish. I like a lot of it. Can you get a picture of it, Jay? The Looking Callum twenty fifth anniversary yeah. Vanquish thing. I like a lot of what he did. The white lettering on the tires yeah, really turned me yeah. off, yeah. and he may have had a tire sponsor, and that's maybe why oh he had God, to do that. So but bad. it's not <laughs> tuner it's nights. Not it's the like style tuner. that has aged well. Yeah. Um, so there it is, in the upper left, top left there. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's it's not bad. Mm-mm. No, oh, this one doesn't have the tire lettering. That is certainly a a better. It's a, certainly an improvement. So now there you're ta- it is. now you're there. taking the original <laughs> yeah, genius, the SEMA, yeah. Whammo. The, the, <laughs> SEMA. <laughs> the genius behind that is taking it to a new level, and I get it at a price point. But it's like the new Bitsarini that they're coming out with, which yeah. is like, uh, it's, who's uh, who are you focusing towards on this at these numbers? There's also so, other things about the Vanquish that mm. that don't that can't really be imp- like there's just it's proportion like the the ergonomics of it are kind of strange and yeah. like mm-hmm. it's it's an old car yeah. at this point it's so, an old car that was built on a budget because they didn't have Ford money anymore and they didn't have right. you know they don't have we Mercedes didn't want to spill money. the beans on today's show but we're actually doing a little bespoke thing ourselves oh. with vanquishes oh. no <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, Pontiac Fero we're gonna be rebodying him <laughs> oh, yes Ray Shaver yes. in He's exactly in. we're gonna be doing a lot of mini F40 conversion. So, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bang yes. for your buck. <laughs> yes, nine fifty nine body kits. Yeah, that's a taking big cars one. and coffee by storm. Turning so, that season of nine fifty nines all day. Exactly. Yeah, so you know, I, I people got to keep busy. I get it, and they 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 want to reinvent the wheel all the time. Yeah. I get it, but I think mm. this leap to go bring shit that was famous at one point in time back. Yeah. I mean, I give more credit to Glickenhaus doing his stuff with his yeah. money and making a really cool thing from scratch. Yeah. Um, his Deco- 004C yeah, looks it's, fucking it's, cool. It's, it's nuts. Really yeah. Nuts. And, you know, he's sending do- that thing to crash testing. I he just so built nuts. it. He's like, time to smash your <laughs> wall. <laughs> Fuck and yeah, he's so Jim. Pu- and he's you so do pu- it. He's so pumped about it. <laughs> that's what's so great. He's committed. But I you- can have a- he said when that's ready, I can have a go. Really? Yeah, yeah. Nat Mundy, who is like his sales director, is like my homie. It's great when the people you used to do dumb shit with when you were kids. Oh, that's are great. Now, <laughs> are now in positions of power. You're like grandfathered in. <laughs> that's great. You're that shit from the third grade you yeah. owed me. I'm calling it right yeah. now. Um, no, but Di Tommaso, that thing, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get it. That. The new oh, Bizzarini God. thing, I don't get it. Uh, I know Hispano Suiza type tried to come back. <laughs> Hispano um, Suiza. It's just, that re- was a stretch. You re- you, you, it's like, no, those things died for a reason. Yeah. And bringing back the name... Uh, what's what's the other uh, Italian coach builder? Um, well, the guys at Super Legere. Uh, there's Turing. Apollo in ta- a, 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 uh, the, the it Turing used to be guys. Gumpert, and oh, now oh, it's... Uh, Gumpert Apollo. Yeah. Uh, the Apollo... It's got the Ferrari V12 yeah. in the back of it. What the... Apollo Intensia or some shit like yeah. that? I can't remember what well, it's called. Well, we learned from the Chisetta Maroder that... <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I mean, that come that on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, come on. I just saw one of those. Did you really? one local. There's one local. I saw one at Curated in Miami. It was hilarious. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh nuts. My God. So with those things, I give people a lot of credit. A footnote. But, but they all become Tucker in the yeah. end. Yeah, they You know, they all become Preston Tucker. It's like, I, I get your ego wants to do this phenomenal thing. Yeah. And you want to make your own car less. You know, but. It's you know, hard. 
Yeah, it's very, it's very really hard, hard as it turns out. It wasn't out. hard in the 20s because the car wasn't that complicated. <laughs> you know? So, you know, sure. Yeah, we, coach uh, building was a little easier. Yeah, sure. We're going to take this body from Bugatti. We're going to send it to one of nine different coach builders. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the 20s, okay. you had over 200, 300 coach builders in the United States well, alone. Well, the, and, the, and the, the manufacturers are in on the game now. Correct. Because they now have, you yeah. know, the, the Senna is a coach built 720. Correct. Right? And the blah, blah, blah. You know, they, yeah. they have these in house. Yep. Coach building stuff. Mm-hmm. Every, apparently, everyone's got a no windshield car now. Yep. You know, <laughs> can am for everybody. Everyone's got a can am car <laughs> on the table, and you know. But uh, I will say that for if you're talking about a new car, it's two million dollars. The Elva, oh. at least, is a totally unique experience. That's not just another track day special yeah. that you can't race but you can't drive on the street and you know it's two tenths faster than the whatever the fuck is the no windshield thing is real nuts yeah it's real crazy i watched your video twice i was yeah, like it's this is fun. it's so good read it's my like, story in road and track yeah new issue of road and track well yeah. it's it's the more practical fxx or whatever car you want to compare <laughs> yeah. it to i mean it's like here, here, benny kaiola remember that oh, guy sure, yeah sure. he had an enzo and an fxx FX, and he yeah. put the enzo plate on the fxx <laughs> <laughs> so the good street. driving down the street <laughs> It's good to be king. It's good. I mean, it's good. It's always good to be in that position of power. Yeah. So, yeah. Imagine yeah. being a customer is so good they named the car after you. <laughs> the Huayra right. BC is named after a fucking customer yeah. of theirs. Just a customer. That's called a patron. <laughs> there you there go. go. There's the no, call 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 around it. Callback. What a pro. <laughs> we found the patron. There you go. Found the patron. That's a great show, boys. Thank you so much for coming down. Are you kidding me? This is a blast. And and thank really, you. thank you uh, for having us and thank your fan base for being kind. Yeah. yeah I mean, thank I, you. I, hopefully, I didn't piss off as many people. I didn't do anything sexy no, no, today to piss anybody off. I, didn't, I could still <laughs> Not try too many because, boomer jokes. Did you, no, did you smoke good. weed before the show? I didn't. No, yeah, but I you will should. afterwards. Don't we worry. We have to see. I, well, well, one, last, <laughs> one, last, one, one last thing for Jay to do. we got to find the name. If you put in Prince Joffrey, find the name of the boat in the tender so we get oh, that straight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Salt and Brunei's brother's s- boat. So, <laughs> if you, I think if you just put in Bode's Jeff- tits, uh, it may come up. No, please do not. Oh, please. Please do not follow my search engine. All it's, it's, boats and hose po- po- it's, how it's, sudden, here top play how Sultan the Brunei's Playboy brother, brother. threw sex parties and, and gave boob jobs, jobs to, to forty. Strangers? Is that going to say strangers or yeah. strippers? Uh, to forty strong harem kept in his palace. What? Mother, oh fucker. yeah, no, he was living large, dude. This dude was uh, fucking Jeffrey. on it. Yeah, wow. Oh, here we go. Super yacht called Tits with tenders. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't make this stuff up, so Matt. Good. Oh I just my never, God! Sex craze prince. Wow. I never, I never. My mind is a, a font for just useless information. And that's, that's fucking crazy. What was the capital made, investment I, for? 40 the yacht years. is yeah. called tits. Look at that. <laughs> I wasn't. I and look at the wave. Look at the wave. <laughs> look at that. It's got oh. like a wave logo underneath. It's it so looks good. like under boob. <laughs> <laughs> it is under boob. It's not waves. That's incredible. You want to talk about I mean, a that's baller. <laughs> you want to talk about a OG. shit bag. But that's <laughs> uh, 40 boob jobs. 40 the, boob the jobs. In, the inappropriately named vessel had tenders called nipple <laughs> nipple one think, and nipple two. Nipple Do you one think one like Fed <laughs> Ship was like, he was like, I want to call it tits. <laughs> and you think the fucking Fed Ship guy was like, sir. Sir. Sir, you can't be serious. Sir. No, I am very no, serious. No, listen. <laughs> this fucking thing will stay in dry dock unless you put tits on the side of the fucking boat. There's the best me? part. This is real life. Like, the guy's this is neck, real. And he said it was okay. <laughs> This is oh, real life. Oh man, we gotta find. We need to go on uh, Instagram and Under, get to the yacht guy Under on Instagram. Bad. The yacht guy on Instagram will track down tits for us. Yeah, yeah he's gonna find. <laughs> can, we a, can we have a whole follow up show just on tits? The yacht. Will. Don't worry. By the time this goes up, my Twitter thread will be full of people identifying the Everyone, current whereabouts. All the of research tits. will be done. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the SS tits, or yeah, it's yeah, just it. guys. Pure. This is a 30, 30 on thirty. <laughs> Where is Prince Joffrey Where is now? Prince Joffrey now? <laughs> Where are all those 40 breast jobs? I know. Where have they gone? Where's Where, the harem? Where's it's the on harem? Tits. It's on tits. All right. That's all right, our brother. show, everybody. Thank we you. will see y'alls after Passover, although this show will go up after Passover. So I hope you all have had a happy Passover. That's what's up. Zach will be back next week. Sirio, we love you. Thank you, brother. I, you, love you, you back. He, doesn't, he has a fucking AOL email address. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with Sirio's got nothing to plug. So does Peter Bradman. I was like, you guys, 
That's how you know you're fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> so rich. I use an AOL email address. You can't hide that money. You can't hide that money. <laughs> His guys send me stuff on, on on Google things, and I'm like, I can't open it. He's you like, what's a Google spreadsheet? <laughs> 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 Uh, Cam can be found at Rhodes Scholars, uh, which is out of North Carolina, yes, and uh, extensive Porsche restorations and Porsche sales and service of vintage cars and Thank you for Porsche racing, customer racing. This is a blast. And you got to come to one of these events. I you have no, no, to come I will, to one of these oh, events. Oh, yeah. The yeah. next time you tell me beforehand. I'm going to have you there. We're, yeah. you're gonna be I don't want to learn about this shit you're on gonna the, the gram, massage. Son. You're going to be the massage guy. <laughs> I don't want to be there. I'll go. I'll just hop. However, Zwart's getting there. I'll yeah. just go with him. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, boys. We'll thanks right. very much. Thanks, Jay, brother. thank you for your service. Jay, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks everybody. Our show. We miss Zach, but Jay did a stellar <laughs> job. Yes. That's yeah. right. See you, hoe bags, later. <laughs> Bye.